Hello, everybody, and welcome to our first ever Descent into Avernus D&D stream. Woo! We're so excited. Um, we've been prepping for this. Uh, we got we got production value now. Like, look at how great everything looks. We got flames. <laughs> we got we're dressed up, sort of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're ready to go. So uh, we're very excited to be playing Descent into Avernus. Uh, this is uh, Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition, if you didn't already know that. Um, and we are going to be playing Descent into Avernus, one of the uh, campaigns uh, campaign modules that Wizard of the Coast made. Um, you'll notice that we're not using Baldur's Gate in it because the official title is Baldur's Gate: Descent into Avernus. And I will let George uh, touch on that in a moment uh, because. Uh, the story may tell a story of, you know, why we're not maybe in Baldur's Gate, question mark. You'll learn. Um, so with that, uh, I figured we would start with introducing um, our players. We do have, I have some commands set up that if you ever want to, like, see what we're playing as, um, you can just, like, do exclamation point Avernus, and it'll give the, all the player character names. There's also a D&D &D Beyond plugin so you can look at our characters and uh yeah so we have everything set up so that you can follow this campaign as easily as possible and uh hopefully enjoy it with us um thank you uh oh is that a new sub i can't see <laughs> yeah just subscribe <laughs> oh there we go thank you wayward for the the sub i appreciate it yeah uh, so uh, we are also going to be playing a campaign on Sunday, Icewind Dale, uh, so stay tuned for that. But uh, every Friday we'll be here playing Descent into Avernus. So with that, I figured we would start and introduce everybody. Um, and So just tell us who you are, the player, and then tell us who your character is in like one sentence. Um, oh, and when you're done, can everyone hear me, by the way, in the chat? Just let me know, because audio stuff is weird. When you're yeah. done... Please, uh, after you're done introducing your character, please roll a d20. Oh, okay. okay. Already. Um, cool. Like, roll a d20? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll start uh, just to say who my character is. Hi, everybody. Uh, I am Tracy, a.k.a. Miss Magitech, if you didn't already know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am going to be playing... Loza, the Asimar paladin of Sune. And if you don't know who Sune is, she is the goddess of love. So I stand for truth, justice, and love. Um, yeah, that's who I'm playing. All right. I'll Vanessa go next. next. Um, I'm Vanessa, <laughs> or Hoveta Cat. I'm going to be playing Emira Lavos, and she's a bookworm, and she's not quite sure how she ended up in hell. Well, maybe, but you'll find out. <laughs> Uh, uh Andrew. Hold on, uh, yeah, Tracy, D20, roll the D20. D20. Uh, D20. Uh, yeah. Oh, great. Um, uh, I am Andrew. I work with uh, all these fine folks, and I'm be playing a human barbarian named Johnny Hellfire, who uh, is kind of modeled off of uh, 80s action hero tropes, so it should be fun. Roll it's your a D20. Good start. It's and a good D20. start. I got a nat 20. <laughs> oh! Well, nice. Oh, it doesn't work. I gotta do it through. How do I roll on a D? I don't know how to do this with oh. D &D on twenty. <laughs> Nick, you Nick is used to rolling up. manually. Yeah, I did it. Oh my god. Oh. Um. So yeah, my my name's Nick. I, I or high jump. I also work at Corsair along these lovely people above me. Uh, I'm playing uh, Malsair. He's a uh, starting off as a fighter, but more I'm excited to find a. Uh, and also being more on the tanky side, but uh, like my like my brother above me, uh, we're both hell riders. So I'm I'm very excited to see everything that George has prepared for, um, you know that sort of dynamic, and it should be a lot of fun. Um, just do, oh, just do the exclamation point d20. Okay, yeah, uh, yay! I forgot to mention I also work with these people. I work under Elgato. Yes, in case you guys didn't know, um, we all work together uh, at Elgato and Corsair, um, and we have been playing. Uh -huh. D, D for years now we've all been playing dd uh for years at the table um we used to all play at, my, at our house me and george's house uh we all used to get together to play uh but the past year uh we have been playing online and we usually play offline although all of these folks have been on my stream for like other one shots uh we decided for the next campaign we had just finished up uh our previous uh long-term like year and a half campaign 
Uh, after we finished that, we decided like let's let's stream a campaign because we've all done this before and it's really fun. And uh, so yeah, that's that's why we're here. It's the work crew coming to stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm new though. Like I, this was my first game with you guys this last Same. year. <laughs> Same. Like, <laughs> for like, a year, right. I'm like, it's a bold claim. A year Y'all, and change. Well, we have been playing for years, even though it was our first campaign yeah. together. It's since 2019, or yeah, 2019 we've been playing. So, oh, dear so, God, uh, it's been that long. Oh, no. I know, it doesn't It doesn't feel like it, but it, it has been. So, uh, right, brother, Nick, on left. the bottom left, uh, you, you'll oh. just see the dice. Yeah. And then oh. the, the top, it's the top option. Yeah, it, it's it's just it's it's hidden because my my monitor's turns. I don't normally. Oh, it's all laggy and shit. God, I love Chrome. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, is it set up for? It didn't go through the dice roller. George, you are slightly louder than everybody else. Oh, oh no. That. Okay, one sec. Thank you for Thank letting you, me everybody. know. Uh, this is also helpful for our tech and audio. Channels. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, while oh, wait. This, while I get this set up, they're here. I yeah. OK, I should be I should be a better volume. Let me know if that's too low or too loud. I'm working on it, but. Yeah, let us know, chat. Sounds great to us. But... OK, that uh, what you guys rolled is the maximum number of hit points you have currently right now. Oh, let's go. So what? if it's higher let's than go. your if it's higher than your maximum, then you have your maximum. If it's lower, then that's what you have as your current health. Oh, Wait, did, no. did you roll a two? Can I have the twenty instead? <laughs> but, not no, too you can have your full amount of health, which is really good. Yeah, if you <sighs> rolled a nat twenty, so that's great. Oh no. How do I all right. Oh my God. I'm so excited Great for this. Uh, chat, does my volume sound better? Let me know. Uh, and let us begin. And George, you can introduce yourself too to all. Oh, yeah. sure. Who yeah. You? Who Hi, you? everybody. I'm uh, Glorious George. Uh, I also work for Corsair, and I have been DMing uh, not completely this band of misfits, but I've been DMing the Corsair D&D crew. Uh, ever since uh, Roscoe Thorncage passed down the mantle yeah. to me. Uh, and uh, I've been DMing for three, four years. Uh, this is my like third run of campaigns. And this is the first of two campaigns we're running. The second one you can catch on Sundays at two o'clock, I think it is. Um, and uh, that... It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. And uh, that is Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, which I'm also really excited for. Uh, and without further ado, uh, let us begin. OK. Aired. So. <laughs> OK, got all my notes ready. OK, all good. You guys are ready. You have your health. Cool. What's left of it, at least. Mm-hmm. Our story begins. Well, first let me say that it is said that each of us makes and carries with us our own hell. Some believe that hell is just a state of mind, a self-inflicted punishment wrought by guilt. But our adventurers are now going to learn that hell is something entirely different. The first thing each of you notice upon waking up is the smell. A lingering sour odor that stays with you and in your nostrils. Even as you try to hold your breath, you can still smell it. It smells like eggs that have rotten and then were charred on an open flame beneath your nose. Slowly, audio, noise, your hearing starts to come back to you, but not all at once. It starts as like a slow, painful that starts to pound against your head. And slowly, you start to ease your eyes open in pain, and the ringing doesn't ever really stop, but it fades into the background of wailing wind and crackling flames and thunder that roars in the sky above you. 
As you begin to move, your whole body aches and bruises. It feels like you're bruised from head to toe. And the pain is contrasted by a feeling of water covering your whole body. You feel like it's soaked through your clothing. Amira, you open your eyes to a burning sky that rumbles with thunder, but doesn't have any sunlight. You feel an intense pressure under both of your shoulders as you wiggle, trying to get your bearings. You glance down and suddenly you're hit with an intense feeling of vertigo as you see you're about 60 feet up in the air. Oh. Uh. You kind of wiggle and you look up and you see that you're hanging from the mast of a metal ship with these kind of giant wheels on the side of it that's partially submerged in water. And you can hear it now, the intense flow of this water, this brackish river of red, crimson, almost like rusted water. You see, as you look down below you, there's some flames and you see a creature start to move towards you. The creature you see looks like this. Like a man who has been melted like a G.I. Joe underneath the sun, but he's starting to move towards you. Crawling and wailing, reaching up towards you. And as you take all of this in, you are obviously, possibly, maybe a little bit panicked, but you see in the corner of your eye, there's another figure, uh, another person. They are mostly submerged in water. It, it's not just a person, it's a knight, a knight in armor with a sword, but they're partially submerged in that brackish, reddish water. What do you say to them? What do you do? As you hang, you realize the mast has hooked onto your bag. You're kind of hanging from your own knapsack. Um, I'd yell out, can you move? <laughs> to the, the person, the knight. They kind of stir, but their eyes are closed. This uh, thing is reaching up towards you. <laughs> You're still about 40 feet from it, but you worry about falling down into this thing's clutches. Uh, um, can I yell towards the person again? Sorry, my camera's sure. like not focusing. <laughs> yeah, I yell louder like, hey! Johnny. Thing? Okay, good. You find yourself in bed beside your wonderful wife. Emelina. The sun is rising. A fresh morning is ahead of you. And she looks at you and says, are you going to make breakfast? And you see her hair is lit up by the amber sun behind her. Of course, darling. She smiles. Oh, my horns keep falling off. One second, guys. <laughs> there we go. She smiles at you and then says, Hey, can you move? Can you move? And her face starts to burn away, leaving a skull in its place. Her howling screams are how you wake up as you're jolted with fear in this brackish water. You look around you and you see those creatures. Oh my God, these horns keep falling off. I'm sorry guys, one second. <laughs> horn, technical horn Feels difficulties. Feels bad, man. <laughs> you wanna put your headset in front of them maybe? Yeah, you know what, that's a good yeah, idea. that's what I had to do with my, or, yeah. There you go. There we go, all right. Sorry about that, all right. You wake up in this water and you see some of these creatures moving towards you. Kind of roll over and try to get my bearings about me. Uh, do I have my sword at my side? You do. Well, 
time for action. I'll, I'll uh, look up at the, the voice calling to me, and uh, do I see the creature crawling up toward her? You do. Um, you see, uh, well, it's, it's kind of like reaching up at her, and she's hanging from this thing. You think maybe you could climb the mast and get to her? Um, this creature definitely would probably need to be dealt with before you cut her down. Hold on, I'll get you. And I'll, I imagine uh, I'm like trying to kick away at it. <laughs> uh, I'll get you, don't worry. Uh, and then I will attack the creature with my sword. Uh, by the way, George, Andrew's a little quiet for everybody. Oh, one second. I, you want me to turn it up on my end? No, you're all right. I got it. There we go. All right. Go ahead and make an attack roll. All right. Tis yeah. That, oh my god, that will definitely hit. Yeah. Ten damage. Ten. Uh, you rush up and you slash it across the back. Uh, it howls uh, and it turns towards you and starts to move. Um, give me one moment. What's your AC? 16. 16. It hits you for two damage. <laughs> and I, I realize I didn't okay, think this I was a big the... deal because because <laughs> these things can well, actually hold on. Let me roll a d4 because uh, uh, it's supposed oh to do a d4 God. damage. He has two health. Yeah, it does <laughs> two damage to you. <laughs> you watch as he runs up, slashes <laughs> this, this thing. It starts to gush blood and it claws at him. And as it does, he <clears throat> falls down into the brackish water. <laughs> Well, I hope you had your backup character ready, Andrew. <laughs> I'll just go and die. <laughs> Imagine Amira watches that and she's just like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The thing starts crawling over him. Looks like it's ready to devour him. Uh, what can I do? Um, um, okay. Uh, how far is it from me? Uh, it's about 40 feet from you. Okay. She's going to like reach out her hand and be like, 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 no, 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 no. And as she does this, a giant, like, uh, icicle from behind her just appears and like shoots into it. And I hit it with Rhea Frost. <laughs> okay. Roll the hit. Uh, 22. 22. That absolutely will hit. Really and, good rolls. Uh, four. Don't, don't say, don't the say thing, that. Adam's in chat. The thing gets hit. The creature gets hit and freezes solid. It's frozen form clutching over this unconscious knight. You are still hanging from up there. Okay, but it's frozen solid at least. You see though, as you, you look and you see there are three more of these things moving slowly towards the ship that you're on. Meanwhile, Mouser, you slowly come to, you're coughing up water that you must've had lingering in your throat. You glance around and find yourself covered in actual blood. And you feel your body for wounds, are unsure of where you are or how this happened. And as you do, you, you don't see any serious wounds on you other than the water you coughed up. But then you look around and you find what looks like another knight, not unlike yourself, but different uniform pinned against the wall by a giant great sword. And you see the blood is trailing from them. Say what? Is it my great sword? It is not your great sword. It is a, it's like a curved, uh, very primitive looking blade. Oh. Sorry, I'm just seeing if I have any any ways to, I guess. You look around and you're actually 
inside some kind of metal and wooden structure. You think it's some kind of cart or something, but mm. it's it's strange. You see it's partially filled with with that brackish reddish water I told you about. And gotcha. uh, this this knight is pinned up against it. You look around and you see what looks like maybe some type of uh, window that's partially submerged. And there's another knight there slumped over in a chair. Oh, I guess. I mean, does it look like does it look like the knight that's pinned? Um, does it look like they're dead or are they are they are they breathing or you go to check on them? And as you look, the wound does look very serious. And as you inspect them, suddenly their eyes light up ah! with light. And as they howl, they suddenly come to the light fades away. Loza, you are awake. Uh, as you react to that, I'm gonna like be like grasping for like a weapon. I don't know if I have them on me or not. You have your sword. You find it lying in the wreckage. Loza, you are pinned to the side or the inside of the ship. You're pinned with a sword through your stomach. Uh, uh, I, I'll just like wake up and just start yelling and I will also go to grab my weapon. You don't have your weapon. I like look at my like side, my holster, like, ah, ah, where's my shield? You have your shield, it's on your back and this sword, it's, it's kind of like pinned through. You think it might've hit one of your kidneys. Oh, no. You got to. <laughs> um, I'm going to look to the person above me and... Can, can, are you friendly? I was to ask you that, startling <laughs> me that way. But how are you even alive? I don't know. I have a sword in me. I, aren't you <laughs> supposed to take these things out, like, before it gets infected or something? No, take you, it out, please. Help me. woman. That's how you... <sighs> Amira, you hear this screaming and commotion somewhere from inside the craft that you're hanging above. And uh, once again, those three creatures uh, continue to climb forward. I mean, you obviously didn't do this to yourself, but how do I know you're meant to be trusted? I, I, do I look like I'm, do I look like one of those things? Please, please yes. help. I promise, I I promise I will not hurt you, please. If you bleed out, it's not my fault. I'll, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the greatsword from her and help her down. Um, as he takes it out, I will try to lay on hands myself to try to, like, cauterize the wound. Okay. Was the blood hers? Like, was there like a trail of blood? You pull like it out. Yeah, the blood was all coming from her. The blood that's all over you. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she looks kind of pale. Uh, I... Can you stabilize yourself? Yeah, do, do I stabilize myself? If you heal yourself, sure. Okay. How much do you lay on hands for? Um, well, I'm at 12. Uh, so two. Okay. Because I rolled a 12 on my d20. You are able to stop some of the bleeding. <sighs> okay, I feel a little bit better. Oh my god, where is my weapon? Is it not, is it this great sword? No, my Neither. sword, my sword is glowing and beautiful and radiant and divine. This is not my sword. Amira, those creatures are almost upon your friend who you froze the other creature on top of, but they are uh, crawling t forward. I would just be yelling for help, just like, help, help him. Ah, like. Ugh. You guys hear this screaming outside frantically. It's is there a door or is it just the window that's half open? You look, you see that there's a hatch that leads up through a ladder. Um, am I able to reach it or do I need to find? Yeah. 
no, climbing it up, uh, climbing up the ladder is no problem. As you open, you see roughly what is on screen. Uh, this awful landscape, this river of brackish red water, and these creatures look like this. Three of them are approaching you. And there's many more you see off in the distance. Oh, jeez. Um, I guess I'd like to see who's, who's calling first. You look and you uh, make a perception check. I went to go try to reach for dice. <laughs> oh, it feels bad, man. <laughs> Where is it on this list? Um, okay, I'll get to use my dice. <laughs> ah, solid. Did it actually go through? It should have gone through this time. What the heck? Uh, I enabled uh, it. Do I just need to refresh the page or something? Maybe. It should be, yeah. Also, make sure that you have it set up to go, uh, like, one that goes to that channel, and then also that it goes to Discord uh, and D&D &D Beyond. Uh, so you rolled a seven. You look, yes. and you don't see where that voice is coming from, but you do see your brother on the ground, face up, one of these creatures frozen on top of him, and three more approaching. I would say at this point, go ahead and roll initiative, you guys. Uh. Even, even poor Johnny. Eleven. Yes. <laughs> even dead Johnny. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it should be there. What the heck? I set this up before and it tested it, but it's just not being, being rude. Um, I guess in the meantime. I'll continue to tinker with this, but in the meantime, you're getting screenshots. No problem. Uh, you guys find yourselves here. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> and you see these creatures are moving towards you all. Uh, and so initiatives. Uh, one moment, let me just... Oh my god, 11, 11, we all... We rolled the same! The two characters together rolled the same initiative. It's pretty oh cute. My, oh god. my god! We're all gonna die. To <laughs> uh, 11, 11, 12, Zero, and... and 12. Oh. oh, yeah, oh my god, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Okay, cool. 12... Oh I, believe, I believe in fate. 12... <laughs> 11, 11. Fate, fate sucks, okay. <laughs> fate rolled a two. <laughs> My fate, hmm, not good. Okay, uh, we start with one moment. Um, oh man, there's so many things I'm getting used to from this new setup. Uh, nope, that is too intense. Uh, let's go with... One of the creatures continues to move forward um, with a very slow speed. You see that it's quite slow. It gets to about there. Looks like it's going to get to Johnny in one more turn. Lozies and uh, sorry, how you pronounce it again? Loza. Loza. Gotcha. Is it our turn or is it whose turn is this? Uh, yeah, yeah it turn. starts with Mouser. Gotcha. Um, I turned to turned to Loza, and uh, can you can you tend to the the man downed? I'll take care of the closest one. And, of course. Uh, and uh, go move to the closest abomination blob man, Johnson. Okay. You rush forward to this thing as it's crawling forward. What would you like to do? Um. So since this is the first time I've actually get to use spells, I guess do I cast booming blade as a as a, as a cantrip? So is it, or do I roll an attack then use booming blade? Uh, you would use booming blade, and as a part of casting the spell, you make the attack. 
Gotcha. Okay, so I, I'm 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 about to booming blade this with a uh, a great sword. Um, let's just see here. Roll to hit. I think that's how this will work. Hopefully, yeah, it's there we it's go. sent. I did it. Okay, Next that hits. We're done. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so I, how do I do? Oh, um, hold on. That wasn't. It. I need to roll for damage, I guess. Is it slashing. So I roll slashing and then booming blade, or is it? Yeah. So there's. A lever. Five plus three plus three. And I believe uh, so. It does eleven to them, and then with booming blade, if they move on their next turn, it'll do the rest of the damage. Um, on hit target suffers weapons and normal effects and becomes uh, sheathed in a booming in booming energy until it starts on the next turn. If it move, if it willingly moves five feet, it takes an additional one d eight under damage. Correct. Yep. Um, you still have some movement. Do you want to back away from it? Um. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Can I? Can I? Can I back up at least? You know what I would understand is the distance so they can force it to come closer. Uh, standing yeah. between uh, my brother and it, hope ideally. Yeah. You you position yourself next to your brother, um, backing away from it. Uh, as you do so, it makes an attack of opportunity. Uh, does right. a 17 hit you? Exactly my armor class. <laughs> it does three bludgeoning damage to you. As it uh, hits you with a fist. Johnny, roll a death saving throw. Wait, it is my turn. Yeah, it's, it's like your turn, remember? Oh, is, I thought. I rolled a 12 also. Oh, oh right. God, yeah, go ahead. Um, I am going to run to the dead man and lay on hands with the rest of my pool, which is three. <laughs> so three hit points <laughs> to try to what, bring you back to life. What do you say to give him this healing? Um, I look down at him and I'm like, so precious. And then I just like lay my hands, <laughs> come back to the light. Oh my God. <laughs> and I like caress his hair. Not in like a weird way, just like a gentle way. <laughs> I'm f***ed out right now. I want you to know that. <laughs> caressing it with pity. Just, yeah, oh. with pity. Oh. Look at your little death poor, thing. Poor thing. Johnny, your eyes come too as you hear that creature. Oh, and you look up and you see this beautiful woman with flowing red hair leaning over you and her eyes are, are radiant and just stare into you as she cresses your cheek. Oh, you're back. Th thank you. You're... Thank you for saving my life. And then uh, I would look at the abomination and immediately you see my eyes just turn to anger. And I, uh, is it my turn to go now? Yes. Finally awake. And then I will. <laughs> you're finally awake. It just finally awake. rage flowing through me. I'm gonna use rage, um, and light my sword on fire. So you hear Johnny gets up, and he just he pulls out his sword, says Inferno, and the sword lights on fire, and he will attack the abomination. Okay. Johnny rushes forward, swings to hit. Uh, that hits. Uh, nice. You cut through this thing. The flames don't seem to do much to it, but the the blade itself just separates it in half. <sighs> Once again, uh, 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 Malser, you lament that a perfectly good spell wasted. Um, <laughs> and with that, uh, Amira, your turn. You're hanging from these uh, from these raptors. You see two more creatures approaching. Uh, the one that is closest to them, I will look at, um, and I will uh, think like uh, uh, you won't, like. What would I think? Like um, she would just be thinking like I have to stop it. I don't know how. And as she's like thinking this, um, 
a uh, like her her thoughts like attack it uh, to cast mind sliver. <laughs> okay. Uh, does it have to so make a saving roll. throw? Yeah, it's a saving throw of a one d six. No, it wouldn't be a saving throw of one d six, right? It would be oh, uh, um... intelligence fourteen. Sorry. Okay. Uh... And then they must succeed an intelligence saving throw or take horribly fail. Perfect. So they take three damage. Okay. That's so powerful. <laughs> Okay, three Coming damage. Up. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, it does continue to move forward despite that. Uh, crawling 15 feet. This one will actually close on you, Andrew, uh, Johnny, and it swings but misses with a five to hit. Um, <laughs> this one's dead. Uh, but you can see more are emerging out of the muck. Uh, if I just zoom out here, you see that more are approaching your guys' vessel. Uh, just kind of swirling around it. Uh, and with that, uh, that brings us to Mouser, your turn. Muted, I think. We can't hear you. Muted. You need a help. <laughs> um, <laughs> seeing, seeing all the new adversaries, uh, I guess I'd, I'd try to take a look behind us, see if there's someplace more advantageous or potentially an escape route. Uh, looking around, give me a survival check. Neat. Please uh, leave. No, it was almost the 13. Why? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Looking around, you Oof. don't think that there's anywhere you could run from these things, but there is that hatch you crawled out of. It could be sealed shut. I'm good. It sounds like bad. Okay. Um, I guess uh I guess I'll go to the uh I'll run, I'll run past the, the red haired woman and run to the, uh, run to deal with the one that's on the wheel. Okay. You rush over and climb up over the wheel. Go ahead and make an attack. Eleven. Uh, that I believe one moment. Uh, that hits. <sighs> these, uh, these rolls are hurting today. Five. You deal five slashing damage to it. Uh, okay. It, uh, after it took some damage to its mind, its form is barely holding together, but it's still in one piece. Uh, Loza, your turn. Um, so there's still one in front of whomever that is. Uh, there's one in front of Johnny now and one in front of Mouser. I'll help Johnny. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will. So, um, do I still have my javelins? Am uh, you I do. Throwing? You also have that. So, you know, your character art, that sword that your character's carrying in the character yeah. art. That's. That's the sword that was in you. If you want, you can have that. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take the bloody sword that was just <laughs> in my torso and I will grab it and strike at the, um, at the one. Oh, 20. Yes, that'll hit. Un unnatural. Uh, all right. Uh, nine. And can I, oh wait, I don't have that yet. <laughs> I was like, could I smite it? I don't have that yet. Uh, nine damage. Okay. Uh, you slash at it. It recoils away a bit, but then it kind of pounces, gets ready to attack back. Um, it will... Um, it will actually try to retreat from you. 
uh because it tries to go bounce pa bounce back but between you and johnny it realizes this might not be a good idea so it backs away but not its full movement uh do That's either of you guys better. sure go for it uh so that's oh oh my goodness and that 20. as it tries to flee you uh sever it in half and it uh, as it splinters it just kind of melts back into that brackish water as if it was never around to begin with johnny your turn johnny uh looks over his brother is fighting one right now right yes Indeed. But there's many more on their way. And they're all are they all coming from the water? Yep. Uh I'll run over to my brother and uh attack the uh one that he's attacking. Um Ooh, not good. That's a nine. Uh, you actually get to the railing of the ship that's it's half like submerged. You get to the railing, you lean over and you swing at it haphazardly. You don't even expect it to strike, but this thing is so clumsy. The blade does nick its back. Uh, and uh, actually, yeah, between you and your brother, you actually kill it. <laughs> it uh, melts back into the sewage and you see the other creatures start to they, they're continuing to advance, but they start to just form a perimeter. Almost afraid to advance forward towards you anymore, but not leaving the area. Um, Amira, you're still move? hanging from up there. It's about to say, I'm like, can, uh -huh. can someone help me? Wait, you're hanging from the... Oh, you're, you're like literally yeah. hanging from the... <laughs> she's, she's on the mast, hanging from her backpack. Oh, no. Oh. How far of a drop is it? Uh, it's about 60 feet. Oh, damn. I was just That's saying. far. <laughs> yeah, and it would okay. land on this nice spiked wheel. Excellent. Oof. Um... Well, are we still we're still in combat, right? You're not in combat right now. The creatures seem to be holding off, unless you want to rush in them and and continue the push. I can, I guess, climb up, try to offer a hand. Yeah, I will assist with that and try to climb up. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me uh, uh, athletics or acrobatics, Mouser, and you can do so with advantage because Loza is helping. I'll be like the safety net in case something yeah. happens. Well, so never mind. That. Not with advantage. <laughs> but if you uh, mess up, Loza will try to break the fall. Johnny's protecting really, in case they advance. Would have really liked that advantage. But hoping a 14. Yeah. Easy enough. You climb up and you see the way she's stuck. Somehow she got, must have been like tossed around. This bag is like completely knotted around the uh the 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 mast um <laughs> you could try to like push her to the very edge or you could try to cut the bag so that way the strap releases her yeah can i i i'd, I'd, I'd reach out my hand um say like hold on tight i'll cut you free be the safest route and like straddling the uh the mast Effectively and like trying to like hold on to that or not the mask the uh, whatever you call the crossbar of it Yeah, you're kind of like straddling it Holding out to uh, reaching out for her hand. Do you grab his hand? Yeah <laughs> You reach out you grab his hand and he starts. Uh, do you have like a knife or you're using your sword? Me? Uh, using no, a um... short sword Those Okay, I think the smallest thing I have or maybe I've got something smaller a short sword no, works. Was, you you use yeah. a short sword and you're cutting at her bag. Um, give me a athletics check. Both of you. I'm like one of those kids that they put in the tree that's been bullied and hey, I'm just like... No. <laughs> uh, 
Amira, your athletics check. Amira? Vanessa? Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're a mirror now. <laughs> That's me. Uh, athletic chat. New phone, who dis? Okay. Um, uh... I mean, a 15? Or is that a 5? I'm at a, a f- disadvantage? Uh, let disadvantage? me see why you're at disadvantage. That is weird. Uh, one moment. <laughs> why are you at I'm disadvantage? I'm for acrobatics and sleight of hand told. and stealth. Uh, <laughs> um, it's probably armor. Are you over encumbered? Yes, she is wearing know. armor that she is not proficient in. Oh. Uh, you, uh, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna check that, I equipment. guess. Uh, you are, you let go, but that's, you're actually fine with his athletics. You actually start to slip, but he grabs you. Uh, unfortunately, as he cuts the bag, the other end of your bag just tears. Uh, and some of your belongings fall oh. into the brackish water. What do I lose? Uh, your crossbow and crossbow bolts. They just go clattering in, and the bolts just go spattering into the water. The crossbow you see break as it hits the giant wheel. Of the one other <laughs> weapon I had. Okay. This is hell. What is that in your life? Look at all these it's strong hell. people that were with me. Welcome to hell. <laughs> uh, if if Loza wants, she could attempt to catch the bolts or the crossbow. I mean, am I still like watching over? Yeah, you're you're like Mother? below, ready to catch her. Okay, I can I can make an attempt. I'll make an attempt. Give me a sleight uh, of hand I'm, check. I'm the safety net. Uh, uh, for her. before arrows from the sky. A seven. <laughs> You take three points of piercing damage. One moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you take two points of piercing damage as you try to catch it, and one of the arrows just goes right through your hand. But does she catch them? Oh, she catches I'm... that arrow, yes. Yeah. So I have one arrow, but no crossbow. <laughs> yes. I, I, can... I hate you, Jordan. She actually she catches the crossbow, breaking its fall. So when she catches the crossbow, it goes off into her hand, and then it bounces, hits the wheel, and breaks. Mm-hmm. So you have one crossbow bolt. A bolt. You I throw it. it. Yeah. Eat it with your mind. Oh, boy. The creatures Spoilers. still crowd around the ship, but are not yet advancing. Amir is just like, thank you, thank you. I don't even know how I got up there. <laughs> Bonnie, do you, do you know anything? Do you know where the hell we are? Uh, I have no clue. Uh, I messed up, man. I'm I'm just trying to to keep us safe. But I think she. What's your name? I'm talking to you, uh, uh, Amira. Amira. And who are all of you? Uh, I'm Johnny. This is my brother Mouser. Uh, and this is. Hello, I'm Losa. She Very nice. Pinned to, to the you. wall downstairs. I was, I had a sword through me, just a minute ago. Well, I mean, I was up there. I was down. Uh, did you save me, Amira? I try to. Um, why are we here? Should we be worried? Should we move? Should we? Yeah, uh, we should get out of here. Hmm. Um, is there? So, did this thing move? Does it move? I, I. Can we check to see if this giant craft run will move? You look around and you're pretty proficient with various types of vehicles, uh, Johnny, but this ship, you look around on the deck, there's no mast or there's no, uh, there's no wheel. There's no, there's these sails it looks like they might be controlled below deck. To be honest, oh. I have no clue how to move this thing. Uh, but I did notice they're only coming from this red water stuff. So maybe if we get on dry land, we'll be safe. You say that and you hear in the distance, <laughs> 
and something no, no, howl. No. And you see Good. there's some creatures moving towards the ship from the from the rear. Uh, and they look like this. Oh, uh, one moment. They look like this. There's two of them. And behind them, some bulbous white-skinned creature <gasps> kind of shambling towards the ship. They're about 60 feet away. It looks like this. Um, maybe we should move faster rather than... Let's, let's, let's move. Uh, down, down below, you said? Or and did trap you ourselves? <laughs> you didn't say that. Sorry. I don't think we should trap ourselves below deck. So should we just get off of this thing and run? Or Where? fight? I can fight them if we want to. Fight? I mean, there's so many... <sighs> I saw you go down. Fast. <laughs> I I am I'm feeling some effects of whatever happened previous. Do y'all remember anything? I don't. I vote down. I vote down. Loza, you start climbing down, and as you look, you hear something in the cockpit. Uh, it in this 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 below area below the deck, you hear something that sounds like someone speaking. Do you speak Infernal? Um, no. Oh, I, I meant Amira. I'm sorry. Because Amira <laughs> was saying uh, I'm going uh, down. I was like... <laughs> Amira, uh, you yeah. you hear something. It, it sounds like this. One moment. It's just numbers just keep coming. It's lost. But I know what that is. You go to investigate it. It looks like some kind of device with like a, a with like a, a crystal and some wiring. And it's hooked up to this console that also has a giant wheel like you would find on a mast on a ship. They keep do speaking I, in Infernal. Do I think it's like a radio? Like, or it, it's part of the actual wheel? You've never seen a radio, nor do you know what a radio is. But yes, for the player's <laughs> knowledge, it is very much like a radio. Okay. Suddenly, the signal changes. <laughs> okay, campers, drive and wine, because it's hell out there today. It's hell out there. Day, Murdoch. Yes, it is, Cliff. Which is why it's a good thing our listeners tuned into Avernus Pirate Radio. Avernus Pirate Radio. <laughs> the only place that shoots it straight so you can get the facts before you sign that pact. And of course, I think it's I time found for the morning traffic update. The wheel Cliff, to drive what's it. What's it looking like out there on the river sticks? <laughs> it's just a mess, Murdoch. Some wretched idiot crashed a war machine into the river. Now we got souls backed up for miles. Oh, that's no good. I'm sure we'll see a lot of river rage today. But it is good news for Maggie's scrapyard, so be sure to be on the lookout for their goons, because they don't seem to be too careful with what they call scrap. They might have to wait a while on that one, Murdoch, because the weather is <coughs> looking real bad. Oh, it's terrible, Cliff. We have a huge front of demons moving in from the south, and if we look at the nine-day forecast, we got fire, brimstone, more fire, ash, fire and brimstone, and, uh... Yeah, that pretty much covers the whole week there. And now, a word from our sponsor. Hello there. Are you a soul fresh out of the river, Sticks? <laughs> you probably don't think you belong in hell, huh? Probably think it was some kind of mistake. Well, it's no mistake. You're here, my friend. Here and likely going to hate it for the rest of time. That's why you need to get yourself protected. So come on down to the Acquisitions Incorporated New Avernus office. Just off the river, Sticks, under the neon sign. Get the skills and the tools you need to compete in this endless kill or be killed infernal damnation. No experience necessary. Walk in appointments and consultations are available. So, <laughs> what do you have to lose? Come on in, and we'll see you in hell. I imagine, like. <laughs> How loud is this? Because I can, I can speak can infernal. We all hear that? You guys, as, as she listens to it, you guys 
descend below deck eventually because th these things are approaching. You close the hatch. Uh, Mouser, you, you kind of get the idea that maybe if the hatch is closed, you could at least funnel them into, like, one at a time. Uh, yeah. And yes, you hear this radio uh, announcement go off. <sighs> Next to it, you see there's a tiefling like... uh, with a, a harpoon in its chest. Oh. Johnny, can you... Well, the weather's gonna get bad. Uh... I don't think that was the takeaway from that <laughs> passage at all. That's what Amira would have taken away from me. <laughs> yes, the... So, let's let's uh, cross this off list first. We're in hell. Wait, did you... Wait, did you... Do you speak in We're in... I speak in yes. Oh, excellent, excellent. <laughs> what? Great. How did I get here? I look up at the sky and scream. How? Uh... Does, does anybody what remember do? anything? What were you doing last? We're right here. Furry. I don't know. It's not the library. You're at the library? This is yes, not... Candle Keep. That's not a Candle's... place to die. I've been there. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything either. What did I do? Did I do something horrible? Why are we here? Why are we damned to hell? We, we should probably figure Lady. out how to drive this. We're right here. This is, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Drive. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is just a lot to take in right the now. The weather's gonna get bad. We need to move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, find, let's go. Find, let's find, go. What, what, what do you say? The, the Neon Acquisitions Incorporated? There's, there's, there's an time. Acquisitions Incorporated in freaking hell? Well, that's as good a place as any to start. What the? Uh, <laughs> Mouser, help help me figure this this out. Uh, George, can we figure out how to operate combine forces? This machine. Uh, you see, the tiefling is impaled next to the uh, uh, next to that steering mechanism, uh, which is similar to ships that you've seen before. You're not sure how this thing moves, though. Uh, you're unsure how to even control those sails from down here. Um, yeah, you could certainly try to figure it out or... Cartographer? Well, if we woke up here and you said you were pinned to the wall, maybe this tiefling is alive too? Can I uh, try to, like, Can't shake the alive. tiefling awake? You shake him. He doesn't seem to move. <laughs> I think he's dead. All right. Uh, uh, let's try yes, to get. He's this sitting in like a chair death, with the wheel in front of him, and he's partially submerged in the brackish water. Amira's like, yes, it looks like cause of death was by impalement and loss of blood. Unfortunate. Good, <clears throat> good report, Amira. Uh, uh, Johnny will move the body and try to figure out how to steer this thing and get it moving. You go to move him, and you see the harpoon has him literally, like, it's in him and out the back of the chair. <sighs> the patience is wearing thin. Um, sits dry. Can I rip the harpoon out? You do, and as you do, he lets out this blood-curdling scream. Ah! Oh. And then dies. Death removal of harpoon. See that that that's what normally happens. I told you that you should like you have to be careful if you're impaled. <sighs> Lotus right. just in the corner crying. Just not even hearing the word. <laughs> How did I get here? Uh, Amira, can you go check on her? <laughs> she, like awkwardly walks over and she's just like It's okay. Uh, I know a lot about hell. I've done a lot of research. Um, do you have any questions? Does this mean we're dead? Fatable? I... I just, you know, I just figured I would go, when I die, I would go see my goddess. I didn't know I would be here. I don't think I'd ever come here. I don't... 
I must have done something terribly wrong on the material plane to be here because I just I just don't know how to handle this all. Pats her head again, not knowing what to do. <laughs> there, <laughs> like, there, there. there. <laughs> yeah. Do you have Do you have a handkerchief or something? I have one, but I don't want to ruin it. My mascara. Just like <laughs> awkwardly gives her her sleeve, like. Thank you. <laughs> she just like, <laughs> like pats her face. Pats her head again. There, there, there. I'll, I'll be okay. It's fine. We should. Wonderful. And she turns while, back. <laughs> while you two are having your moment, I kind of quietly talk to Johnny. So really remember nothing. I, what were we doing? Were we <clears throat> on assignment? Were we... I don't remember anything. All I know is the I last thing up. you remember, Johnny, the very last memory you have was Mouser pulling you out of the house. Uh, all I do remember is <clears throat> you pulling me out of burning house and but that saving my life right how are we here I, I, I don't know I, I came to her crying mess of blood was all over my hands attached to the sword and the wall I, I, I don't understand but I think it's clear enough uh, we can we can funnel them through the we can follow them through the hatch but we just we get this thing running, I think we are headed to Acquisitions Incorporated with or without these two's help. Look, all that matters is that we're here. Me and you. We got this. And uh, I'll, I'll try to start the engine and, and get it going. As you Which move I this... I would know what those things... Oh, go ahead. Uh, what things? I was going to say, I would know what those things are called, right? Yes, you believe one of them is a dretch and you saw two of them out there the other one is a main you believe they are low level demons yeah I would be like well we need to get moving before the dretch and the main get in um, they're, they're quite <sighs> vicious and um you hear scratching on the outside of the hull we should move Johnny as you move the tiefling out of his seat and you sit down uh, you see that there's the steering wheel and then there's like a a single uh it's like a single vertical opening in the metal it looks like something needs to go there to get this thing to to move the harpoon it doesn't look as big as a harpoon it looks smaller like maybe um like a key perhaps hmm. everyone <clears throat> look around for a key we need a key or something to get this started <laughs> Something's banging on the hatch. You hear those things are crawling on the outside of the ship. Are you sure there's no way to, like, I don't know, jumpstart it or something? We have, like, company. Amira's looking door. around for a key. She's, like, going through. Yeah, boxes. I guess I'll start, I'll start looking, too. Loza will get yeah. up and... Okay. Start looking. Uh, go ahead and uh, who's making investigation checks? I will. I'll go for it. Roll. Fill this up. Someone should oh check my. the tiefling. My rolls are so bad. Uh, I can try. I don't have any more lay on hands. I'm gonna just check his pockets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that big brain. <laughs> <laughs> The difference between a Mouser, would you like to check his pockets? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll check. I'll check the tiefling. I'll, I'll, I will loot the body. Okay, go ahead and make an investigation check. Amira, as you're looking around, you find um, you find in the hull uh, a map of some kind. It looks like oh. this. Oh, I wouldn't know it's a map of some kind. I wouldn't know that's a map of... Avernus. I say some kind because while oh. the image I'm showing you is still, the map itself is moving. 
like the river moves and it bends and it kind of changes positions and and the different locations on the map seem to kind of like wither and fade and slip across like this thing is some kind of living organic thing and you hear in the back of your mind yeah know the directions you hear as if this map is whispering to you huh i haven't come across a map like this before and she's just gonna roll it up and put it in her pocket because i don't have a bag anymore you can put map of avernus in your inventory uh, and Mouser, you check on the tiefling and you find a um, a business card for Acquisitions Incorporated Avernus office. And you find paperwork uh, that looks like his employment contract with Acquisitions Incorporated. Uh, and his contract. Um, Looks like he was an employee. Hmm. What was his name? Or I guess if his business, I guess his name important. Or either way, I'm going to hold on to this information. Uh, his name was one moment. I actually do have that written down. Uh, ba, 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 ba. His name was Coolich. K O L I C H. I C H. Coolich. All right. Key? Anyone? Find the key? Uh, I don't know about Kings boys, but no key. Uh. The creatures <laughs> You think they might break through the hatch momentarily. Uh just just start pushing things. I, I um can is there anything I can read? Like Uh make another investigation check if you wanna like you're panicking and looking around. Yeah. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Looking around, uh you can't find anything like this uh and mouser as you go to put the body back you do hear ding 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 something hit the ground and it looks like a solid coin about two inches thick or two inches wide in diameter i try and pick it up yeah uh you're able to pick it up it feels heavy in your hand, and it feels as cold as ice. Oh. I mean, I guess, is it like, is it just like a gold coin, or is it just? It's a solid, looks like it's made of iron oh. or steel. And it's looks like covered a... in infernal writing. What is the writing thing? In Asmodeus, we trust. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Johnny, is it... It looks like, it looks like it, it'll take something like this. I... Would, would uh, Johnny know what that is, George? I don't believe so. Uh, you can roll a religion check, though. Oh my god, a seven. <laughs> it runs into the family. You are not sure. Um, I, it looks like a I type of currency. Yeah, uh, that doesn't look like a key to me. I don't think that would fit. Would there. I have seen it? Uh, you, you can make a arcana check. Eleven. It, you have heard of infernal currency of some kind. Uh, you've heard them referred to as soul coins. Looks like what might be a soul coin, but I don't think that's a key unless the key is a round coin. Does it does it fit in that hole or no? It 
Could, possibly. You worry that Amira if you put it in, you might not be able to get it back. Yeah. Amira puts it in. She, she's just like, she just picks it up or takes it from him and just puts it in. Are you sure you want to do that? Oh. I was going to say, it's like, I, um, so you just take it from me. I'm like, excuse, excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. She's a little concerned about the things outside. So she's like, it looks like it fits. We should do that. Would you like to do that? I'm here it would, but if it's not in her hand. Yeah, are you, are you, would you let her take it, Melser? Yeah, I was going to say, I try to find our options here. Let's not be too rash. If it, if it looks like it takes a key. We should bar the, we should bar the door just in case. Losa, Losa will try to bar the, the door with her javelins. Like, I'll give them up to, like, make a thing to try to stop them from coming in. Make an athletics check, because as you approach the hatch, it starts to break open like the, ah. the small latching mechanism, but you are, with your impressive strength, are able to pull it back closed and shove your javelin mm. in, buying you more time. Um, I can only else. hold them for so much longer. All right. We have no co if we have no key. What's it? Is there, like, do we know that we found? Do we know that you found a map, Mira? Oh yeah, would they have seen me grab that? Uh, I'm not hiding it, but you may have seen her pick something up and put it away. Okay, gotcha. I mean, I would tell them. I'd be like, all I found was a map, which is helpful when we can get on the move. Yeah. Do you want to look at it? Well, I'm just trying to understand how far away uh, Ak Inc. was. If, if Ak Inc. was on there. Yeah, she'll open up the map then. Okay. You can go ahead and make an investigation check, Mouser. Do you want to give her the coin? Oh, uh, sure. I said, I, I guess, yeah, it's... I mean, if there's nothing else to try, might as well. <laughs> Go ahead and make an investigation check of the map, Mouser. Okay. Investigation. Oh, let's go. I thought that was a one for a second. <laughs> Amira, as you hold that coin, you can feel something speak to you. Help me. Please help me. I'm sorry. Whatever I did, I'm sorry. I, I didn't deserve this. There's a mistake. I worshipped Jeez. Peller all my life. Like, the moment he hands her the coin and she hears this, she would just kind of, like, hand it back to him and be like, you should hold on to this. I thought you wanted to... I thought you wanted to try and use to start this thing. Um... Do we want to do that? Well... What ideas do we have? Have <laughs> you found anything, Johnny? You think it, your javelin might break soon? I would go over and, and help Loza hold it back, and I would ask everyone to check their pockets. Like, we woke up here. Everyone, check your pockets. Maybe one of us has the key. Anything in our pockets, George? Nothing that you weren't already carrying. Hmm. The only other body I remember seeing. There's another. There was another body in the. Uh in the hold with us, right? No, there was the two. Oh, okay. I thought there was a, another. Do you mind putting the coin in? I don't think I could. The coin, it makes me uncomfortable. And she's like trying to hand it back to him. I mean, I'll take the, I'll take the coin. Is it, what, what's, what's wrong with it? I mean, it's something about Asmodeus. You know, he aren't written on it. it seems like currency, maybe. 
Maybe if we can't uh, fight our way out, maybe we can... Uh... I mean, how much fight do you think way. Imagine This is worth? It's gotta be worth something. Look how much metal this is. Give me an athletics check, um, Johnny and Loza. <sighs> boom, boom. 14. Ah, my luck would run out eventually. Eight. Loza, you lose grip, but Johnny coming to help you is able to uh, pull it back shut. You're running out of time, guys. Oh. Whatever your plan is, I think you should do it. I say put the coin in, and she like shoves the coin into his hand. <laughs> okay. I got nothing else. If not, we can hold him back. Loza, oh. prepare to fight. I will drop the uh, drop the coin in if it if it matches the if it if it if it fits. It sits. It fits. It sits. It sits. Amira would cover her ears just because. <laughs> you drop the coin in as you hear it enter. You hear a <laughs> leave the coin, and suddenly the engine comes to life. The entire thing you're in starts to rattle and rumble. I'd, it's working! <laughs> I'd run to Johnny's side. And, I'd run to Johnny's side, take his like take his place and tell him to take the wheel. Alright, let's get on with it. Oh my god, this engine's kind of ridiculous. Johnny, you get into this this seat with the steering wheel. Uh, go ahead and give me a give me a check with your navigation skill, just to see how intuitively you're able to figure out this thing's working. Uh, what would a navigation skill be? <laughs> uh, that would be D twenty plus. Uh, let's say your survival. Okay. While he's doing that, do I see? Um, acquisitions right. and ink on this map. Uh, that's oh, a yeah, nine, I never got the nine nine total. That. You actually, your you your head spun looking at that map, and you look at it again, and you start to get like kind of motion sick looking at it. You're not able to decipher anything on it. Johnny, she hands it off to Mauser. You. I mean, I took a spot holding the door, so. You get this car. The car's on. It's moving. Uh, or it's rumbling, and you are ready to get out of here. What cool one-liner do you say as you slam on the gas? <laughs> uh, the real code. <laughs> uh, I just go. I look up at the all the creatures that this thing can like haul, right? It can move pretty quick. Yeah, you think uh, so? I look up look up at the uh, the creatures that are trying to get in and just say, happy trails, and just slam the gas and try to make them fly off. Everybody make a strength saving throw. Uh. Finally, a good one. Seven. Fifteen. Go. Yes, brother. <laughs> Loza, you are suddenly uh, thrown uh, against the front of the vehicle as Johnny accelerates forward, further submerging the vehicle into this brackish water. The whole vehicle woof, lunges forward and you slam into the side of it, taking three bludgeoning damage. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry, not Loza, or, Amira. Uh, Amira. Oh, yeah, Amira's the one. Yeah, I mixed you guys up. I'm yeah. so sorry. I was like, New I campaign. <laughs> you take three bludgeoning as you're like rocked forward by this vehicle lurching forward. Johnny, you realize you have it in forward and you definitely need to go reverse. Ooh, uh, hold on. <clears throat> Make right, another survival uh, check. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 
11. Uh, you are fairly confident you got it this time. What cool thing do you say this time? <clears throat> uh, uh, I, I look back up at the creatures still fighting to get in and I say, get off my ship and I accelerate. <laughs> the ship goes rocketing backwards, wheels pounding as the whole thing starts to skid backwards. Uh, that brackish water drains from the front and as the vehicle starts lurching backwards, Johnny, you see through this seeming like this, like essentially the windshield that's broken in in front of you, you see those creatures <gasps> moving towards you still uh, as they rush forward. Uh, you back away and one of those dog-like thing tumbles off and lands onto the ground, but then writes itself up. And as you come to a stop, they're starting to slowly approach you. Are they toward the water or like away from the water? Uh, they're a little bit away from the water. You like backed up and then like turned a bit and they kind of flew mm -hmm. off in front. They're now looking in front of you. The water's oh. to your right. Yeah, we're running them over. Run okay. Over. You gun forward. <laughs> Um, one moment. They have to make deck saving throws. And as I hit them, I assume they die. As I hit them, I hope they die. As I hit them, I say, road kill. Two of them are splattered uh, underneath the wheels of this thing. The one uh, creature, the dog looking one, Loza, I'm sorry, uh, Amira, you know it uh, as a, uh, a dretch. Uh, it hits the side and actually stumbles in and starts snarling at you guys. It is inside the vehicle now. Um. Are we allowed to just attack at it? If you would like, roll initiative. Yes. I would, well, I would like strike oh, it. Yeah. Six. I hey. guess I'll wait. Oh, come on. He rolled off a 20 to give me a 2. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Feels bad, man. The uh, dice 14. lag, but it's even more anticlimactic. Like, uh, Johnny, you're already gunning it. Uh, so that's your turn as you're driving. Uh, this thing is inside. It, um, it will go ahead and let's see. One, two, three. It attacks you, uh, Loza. It sniffs you out. And it specifically turns its attention towards Loza and lunges at her. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit. That hits. Uh, that will be five piercing damage with its bite. And then it claws at you, trying to pull you down. Uh, that is a 13 to hit. That misses. You deflect its claws with your shield as it's biting onto your arm that's holding the sword. Uh, that brings us to uh, Amira. Uh, no, Loza, your turn. Not this day, fiend. And I'm going to uh, hit it with my great sword. Okay. As I defend with my shield, I strike back at it with my sword. Um, 13? 13 does hit. Okay. Seven. Seven. Uh, one moment. Let me just change the music up here. Um, uh, you carve at it. It's still alive, however. Um, um, it howls in agony as your blade cuts through it. That brings us to... Uh, uh, Amira, your turn. George, would mm -hmm. I be able to use Ray of Frost as a, like, a wind and push, or no? Um, no, it, it, you could slow it down, though. Okay, then yeah, she would, like, turn towards it and, like, just, like, mm, like, thinking, like, uh, do something, and, like, like, cold blasts of air would just, like, go through and, like, hit it. Okay, roll the hit. 
eight. It's wind. Come on. Uh, is that the attack roll? Uh, uh, yes, it is. Uh, unfortunately, you miss. You try to freeze its paw misses. to the floor, uh, but it just kind of chills it. It doesn't get stuck there. Uh, that brings us to Mouser. Your turn. Um, let's just go and attack the thing. Okay. Um. Attack it with my great sword. Ooh, okay. that's definitely hitting. Uh, <laughs> and yes, I like how roll we damage. Just dancing. <laughs> uh, that one got beat, piece though. of damage. Okay. Uh, and then I will hit it with booming blade. Part of that. Okay. Um, you hit it, and give me one moment. Uh, you strike at it, uh, it wails in pain, uh, but then uh, it's, it backs off of Loza's arm. Uh, Johnny, you're still driving. Uh, what would you like to do? Would you like to uh, do anything special or do you want to just try to see if you can navigate? Uh, does it look like, like, is it close to, it's like falling out of where it came in? Like if I stopped or swerved or anything? Um. Roll a wisdom check. Mm. Hmm. But also, a... don't throw us out the back. Thirteen. You, uh, you think your friends can hold on if you slam on the brakes? This thing doesn't seem to have like opposable thumbs, really. Gotcha. So, or not very strong see. ones. John, just yell, hold on and he will slam on the brakes. Okay. The creature goes flying out of uh, out of the, towards the front of the vehicle. Everybody else make a strength saving throw. That's I, what I thought. Oh, is it willingly as part of this? A 12. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to roll that. That was my bad. Um, sorry, is it strength saving throw? Can I possibly roll an advantage? Since, uh, yes, you can. You're you're in you're in the seat and everything. Oh, <laughs> dang. oh my god! No, no, I got a nine total. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was my second roll. Everybody holds on as Johnny's like, hold on, and he slams on the brakes. The creature goes flying forward and hits Johnny right in the back of the head as it gets tumbled out. Johnny, you take five bludgeoning damage. Are you even alive? Johnny yeah. passes out. <laughs> Johnny's clutched oh, out on the wheel. Boy. The creature, uh, creature took one bludgeoning damage from that and is now in front of the vehicle, uh, looking at you all and moving towards the vehicle slowly. Wait. He's outside though, right? Yes. See, Suddenly you watch as the as you hey, approach, it moved move five feet or more. <laughs> oh, you're right. It did. It, so as it was lunged, it it oh, goes willingly. flying so like out. It the hits the ground and it gets up and starts moving forward. And suddenly, like boom, lightning hits and it or like thunder hits it and it just collapses dead. <laughs> See, mission accomplished. You're Johnny. passed out. Mission. <laughs> Mother's under mission his breath. Just like, <laughs> oh my god. Yes, he's always like that. Yes, you'll get used to it. Can you, Who's driving? Can you tend to him again? Yes. I stopped, thankfully. <laughs> um, can somebody drive while I help him? You look like a capable driver, uh, uh, Mr. Mouser. I've driven everything in my life. I've ridden a horse. I mean, oh, I don't think I've, I don't think I've done anything. Your like this. brother, right? Um, he did it, so you can probably do it too. It's not how things work. Take the wheel. I, <laughs> I, 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 comm I commend your, your uh, blind craze, but I mean, we can try. Do you? I, act I actually, I actually can help him. Um, oh. I will, well, I will walk over to um, 
Johnny and use my healing hands ability. Uh, once per long rest as an action, touch a creature and restore one hit point. <laughs> one hit point you get. I'm so weak. <laughs> End it well. <laughs> yeah, use it wisely. I have had Johnny, one you, you 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 come to with one hit point, huh? This and you look out, you trend. see the creature is dead on the ground in front. We got. Him. You get knocked down, but I will get you up again. <laughs> we get knocked down. So. They'll never keep you down. <laughs> uh, Johnny will get up. He looks way worse for wear, and he'll. Uh, sit back in in the seat and say where where to mouser i think i come up uh, with a map she's like well you're gonna make him drive in this condition he's the best one for it he's, he's i'm I, i'm the vehicle guy all right so she lays I... the map out like in front of him <laughs> i need i'm gonna need you to read that i'm a little <laughs> oh, can i read it now or am i still nauseous uh, give me an investigation check. Okay. I was going to say, did I see it at all? I, had, I rolled an 11 earlier. Well. The problem isn't that the, the... That's what I was saying before. When you tried to read the map, and, and even now, it is it is nauseating to oh. look at this map and it, as the, everything on it is moving and shifting and it whispers, <laughs> you are looking for the monument of a man's greed. A greed beyond his compassion. You have, think you have an idea of where Acquisitions Inc. Is in, incorporated is located. Good. I say I don't know what that means. Uh, okay, so then I, I would like, like shake my head like 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 I'm motion sick almost, and just like point and be like, that's that's where we're going. Just Perf perfect. Ugh. Thank thank Puts you. Put the map away. <laughs> like, ugh. thank you, Amira, and thank you, Loza. Saving my life once again. No worries. You look out front as you begin to move. You see that creature has rotted away, and in his place he has left a puddle of black ooze where he was standing, uh, just melted into the ground. You begin to drive off, and you guys slowly make your way to. Acquisitions Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> and right there, we will go ahead and take our quick break. And when we return, you guys can <laughs> check out the headquarters and decide what you're going to do. Why run ads? That was a warm, warm welcome. <laughs> oh I hope God. this isn't indicative of the rest of this campaign. <laughs> I mean, they hired that dead guy. Uh, I've and had he's dead. Uh, two, three, and one health. Uh, those have been my life totals. <laughs> For everybody watching, we'll be back two. in about 15 minutes, uh, <laughs> and we will uh, resume our campaign minutes? then. 15. That's right? a long break. Is it? We can okay. Do, we, can do, we can do like 10. All right, 10, 10 minutes. 10. The countdown's going to say 15, but it'll actually only be 10. Come so we will see you then. Minutes. Bye. Be right back.
we return. You all have arrived at the small, quaint building in the middle of this quite literally hellish landscape with the Acquisitions Incorporated logo lit up in neon outside. As you pull up, you intend to come to a slow halt, Johnny, as you drive this vehicle, and suddenly the vehicle starts to lurch and just kind of dies right there out front. You try, well, like, operating it, and it's it seems dead. Well, we have arrived. <clears throat> uh, I guess let's figure out who runs this place and figure out why in the hell we're here. Ha <laughs> ha, funny. <laughs> why in the hell we're here? See what yeah. I did there? Can I make note of, like, about how long, or about how far we were able to travel with one of those coins? Um... You're not sure that it was the coin that caused oh. any issue as there's some of that brackish water comes just creeping out of exhaust areas of the ship. And you see suddenly approaching your vehicle, a small imp. What the fuck did you do to my ride? What the fuck did you do? Oh, God. Oh, oh no! He's he's looking around the vehicle. Oh no! Oh, oh come on! Oh. Your, your your man seems to have gotten it trapped, and we have simply returned your vehicle. Amira like pulls out a little book. She's writing down like, hmm, quite tall for an imp. <laughs> a man! What? <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. Coolidge? Where's Coolidge? Uh, oh, uh, he uh, he's deceased. His cause of death was... Uh, you got Coolidge killed? Oh, God! It was the harpoon that was... This is hell! ...that caused his death. Yes, it this is, is hell. hell! Very yeah. astute of you. Oh, my God. How many more jokes are we going to make about hell? <laughs> because I'm sick of it already. Out! Uh, All of you out! Um, just to be clear, Mr. We didn't do anything. Um, we showed up. Look, you can this. take your problems up with management. I'm just, I'm, get out. If I'm going to fix this thing, you got to get out. Uh, okay. Uh, your name is... Scrapper. Scrapper. Okay. All right, well, Scrapper, uh, we'll see you around. What did they do? Uh, Is this water from the river Styx? I think that's where we came from. I don't uh, know. Yeah. It some was red, a river. Some red river? I know, I know it looks like a boat, okay? It's not a boat. We were very clear. This is not a submergible. It was like it when we found it. True. Wait, did you see us leave on that? Yeah. Where were we going? What were we doing? I don't know. Wait, us? We were, have you seen us before? Oh, what are you, did you guys drink from the river sticks too? M maybe yeah, we maybe did. We did. <laughs> Describe the taste. Oh, I don't know. It tastes like uh, my ass and a bunch of dead souls. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that taste. You sure? You want to find out? And he bends over. Oh my God. You see that in the backside? He has like this large scorpion tail. Look. Scrapper, help us out here. We don't remember. Yeah, anything. fuck off! And he slams the hatch as you hear him digging around inside trying to fix things. Well, what? that's busted! <laughs> we, uh... Um, we know that we came from here. We I have some paperwork. If, if we work for these guys, or we came from here, maybe this contract will help. Wait, George, would I have anything from, like, you know, being a documenter? I didn't see anything. 
um, you checking through your things, you actually do find your you find a documency satchel, and it has the logo yeah, of like, Acquisitions Incorporated on it. Oh, that would have been helpful. Thank you, Amira. You're always <laughs> on time with your. You know, Thank you. Assertions. Was there anything in it? You open it up and you find several documents uh, that look like they were quite important. Uh, oh. The ink on them is all smeared with the water from the river sticks. Oh no. I don't know what he said. We should go in and find out. I think that's a good idea. Let's let's talk to the management. Can I scan the contract and see if there's anything that like stands out? Uh, sure. Make an investigation check. Hey. You looking over it, this looks like an employment contract that likely lasts forever for this particular employee. Uh, it looked like he was given a pretty raw deal and he signed specifically with one omen drawn all right looks like uh we're dealing with an omen drawn it's like a put signed up for a lifelong deal with them why would we do that? Did did we sign up for a lifelong deal? I just all of them. I, this is just Coolidge's information. I just grabbed it from Look, his body while we were rummaging for a key. I don't know about you all. I'm tired of asking questions. I want answers. I'm going in there. Right behind you. Oh, okay. They really like to think ahead. They do they do Amira as they jump ahead. Yeah, and she's just like nodding like she doesn't really know how to talk to people <laughs> like you guys enter into the squat building and inside you find one moment you find a large Amira, you recognize it as a horn devil, as do you, Loza. A large horn devil watches you come in, ding, ding, as you ring the bell entering the doorway. And behind the counter, you see this. We see George? <laughs> <laughs> um... Horn, devil, and devil? Um, Back hello? so soon. Um, that's the question that I think we all have. As you say soon, like you've seen us before, but I don't think I've ever met you. Peculiar. Maybe I, I have you mistaken for someone else then. It's very hard to mistake me. Look, what she means to say is we don't remember anything. We woke up on that craft out there. No recollection of what happened. Brought it back here. Can you help us out and figure out what happened? Mm, certainly. Do you have any paperwork or receipt? Mira hands the, the poor, sad-looking documents to him. <laughs> oh, my. Gone swimming in the river sticks, have we? By choice. She's eyeing the books behind him. Hmm. Is it possible you had a contract with us? But, given the state your look? documents are in, perhaps we could arrange something else? 
Wait, you don't have like backups of this or something? Like archive, like a backup storage or something? Like a managerial copy or something? Roll a persuasion check. Who? Me? Mm hmm. Uh, 11. Um, suppose we do have some records available. What did you say your name was again? Um, my name is Loza. Loza, right, right. <sighs> yes, I think I do recall you coming in here yesterday. You all don't remember I... anything at all? No. What did I come in for? Now, your, your, your boy, Coolidge, drove into the sticks, apparently. Drove us into the sticks. Oh, I am terribly sorry. Uh, we do wish for better for our customers than that. Uh, is Coolidge with you? He will be properly reprimanded. Uh, well, he's currently deceased. Uh, cause of death was by uh, impaling a harpoon and then removing a blood vessel. Oh, yeah, dear. Well, I suppose we can fish him out of the river Styx then. He's in the boat. Not the boat. <laughs> oh. The, the vehicle. His body is, yes. His soul is probably in the river Styx by now. Oh, no matter. We'll sort to that later. You all don't remember anything, then? No. So we're not... Are we dead? Or are we just, like... That's the big question. You certainly could be. Well, How much we, is the information worth to you? Today? I mean, it's just information. You can't just tell me. Wait. Well, not for you... free. I, I can't offer client information. It, we literally have a contract already, according to you. It doesn't... This contract has nothing on it currently. What? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your uh... name. Uh, Zool. You may call me Zool. Zool, right. Do you have somebody above you that I can speak to <laughs> by any chance? Oh can I speak to your manager? <laughs> I would like to return this contract, please. I feel like you're not really, you know, I feel like I need to talk to somebody a bit more capable. The horned devil is growling at you. There are many that people could... above us. After all, we're in hell. But unfortunately, I am the manager, senior manager of this branch. If you are willing to offer something in trade or of parcel value, we can get you information on your uh, previous transactions with us. Is the contract of Coolidge worth anything? It's worth a little bit, but we have to fish him out of the sticks to really make that worth them. Forgive so my term of phrase. We, you wouldn't mind if we destroyed it, then? I'd rather you didn't, but... Sweeten the pot here. You must have something on you. Uh, I could offer you a kiss. She would... She's... Yeah. <laughs> Mira is completely about all I confused by her answer. <laughs> Immediately just offers up her body. Just like... I'll it's settle just... for a vial of your blood. Ooh, I've never had somebody ask me that before. I'm <laughs> probably <laughs> <laughs> still like good in her blood. Like... Loza, is a vial of your blood? Um, I think we might have something else. Um here that might be of offer um 
Anybody got it? Like, Lose is like rummaging through her empty bag, <laughs> trying to find something else. That yeah. amulet you're wearing is quite nice. This is a nice amulet. It's mine. That would suffice. It might even repair the damage you inflicted on that vehicle out there. Excuse us. The damage that your man inflicted by driving into the river sticks. Is that what you meant yep. to say? We just woke up there. Perhaps we can work out a deal. Could we run a job real quick for you or something? Is there anything you need done? There are quite a few things, I suppose. You could take up some assignments. You're all very capable. We got out of the river six, didn't we? Hmm. This is true. We do have a client who is in dire need of our services. You what should agree to... Food? We here at Acquisitions Incorporated provide... Well, acquisitions. Uh, acquiring merchandise or uh, eliminating targets who are after merchandise themselves. Things that strong folk like you can quite easily get done. If you take on the assignment, I can certainly uh, see that as satisfactory payment. You will have to sign a document, of course. Uh, what so we do this assignment, you'll tell us what we did before this? Absolutely. And forgive all damages to the craft? That we didn't do? Yes, just make sure we're cleared of that. Roll a persuasion check. Who? Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, Johnny. Johnny? Yeah. Ooh, a nine. Love it. I mean, after all, it was your guy that caused this. Yes, I suppose we could overlook the damages if this work is completed. And uh, we read over Coolidge's contract. Uh, we want to make sure whatever contract we sign is just for this job only. We don't want to be in your service for eternity. Well, are you sure? You know, we have wrong. amazing health benefits. You didn't even make Coolidge didn't make the contract. He made it with some common drawn. Well, yes, Omen is one, the original founder of this branch so I, fine your contract will not be in perpetuity anybody else have any stipulations they would like to throw in? I give a uh, contract with me it's, it's between Coolidge and Omen drawn um, on, that's on the one behalf. he has yeah 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 I think you're asking about the contract that they're at it would be all full of you if you wish to all receive the information. Are you going to, you know, I guess that that and for, for giving any possible claim to damages. Yeah, that seems yeah. pretty fair. Very well. I will draft that up currently and he does. He, you see him start with his nails quickly writing out a contract his nails just kind of carve into it almost like ink burning the words into the paper and there you go I believe that should suffice and he slides it over to you I'd give uh, I'd hand uh, Amira I'd hand you Coolidge's contract mm -hmm. uh, look at look it over make sure that there's uh, like this should show us how we uh Tries to hide things. What do I roll? <laughs> uh, make a investigation check, and you can add your proficiency bonus to it. Well, good, because I rolled a nat one. Oh boy. Um, five plus what's my proficiency? Uh, it should be like plus two. 
So well, actually, you would have advantage on this because th okay, this is okay. your thing, Documancy. 10, 12. <laughs> uh, it looks all correct. Um, it does stipulate that you are unable to make anything of value. Like, essentially, any monetary gains you make during this is the property of Acquisitions Incorporated. Okay. It doesn't say anything about, like, forever and... No. It is a strictly a one-time operation. You are to do uh, one assignment for Acquisitions Incorporated. It doesn't have, like, secret writing about our souls or something in there. <laughs> there are stipulations regarding your soul, but it's more things like if you cause damage to the Acquisitions Inc. building, uh, if you are, uh, if you act in bad faith of Acquisitions Inc. and cause them business loss, things like that. Um, as long as you don't do anything reckless, no your soul and no other means of uh, expenditure is made. So I see nothing suspicious in there. You don't trust me. Well. You're hardly well, forthcoming with information. Hey, we are. Well, you're asking for client information. I just want to make sure that I'm not signing more than I understand. You understand. Of course. Hmm. Well, I looked it over. I don't see anything questionable. Before we sign this note, what exactly is this job? We have an associate named Maggie who is looking for help dealing with with a problem she's having with a rival gang. Do you be able to assist us in items? I'm thinking of our friend here who is on one health. <laughs> you could certainly rest here for the night. Perfect. Uh, so do we have to eliminate this rival gang? Is that the job? You have to end the conflict between them. Okay. How you do that, entirely up to you. Doesn't sound like a problem. Um, so long as Maggie is satisfied with the resolution. Sound good to everyone? Yeah. So do we all have to sign this thing? You is do, like... yes. It's either or you or could give me a pint of your blood. I, I guess I'll sign it. It's just blood. It's What's so pity. special about your blood? I don't know what he's going to do with it. You all should not be giving up your it's... blood down here. Mouser, aren't you covered in her blood? Please oh, don't are you? Up. Were you injured? We all were, yes. Yes, I was injured very badly. I had a sword through me. Where did that I happen? Know. On the river Styx, where we woke up. You That's see him cast only... some kind of spell. Terribly sorry to hear that. What, what, um, did, what, did, what did you just cast? What was that? I was just informing our employee uh, to make sure that they mind the mess. Oh, I should go back to the boat. I'll I'll sign this. Wonderful, sign are here, you, please. Are you all signing too? Just making sure we're yeah. all on board. Yeah, Who's we going need to first? figure out why in the hell we're here. So. I mean, about how much blood do you think you lost? I mean, there was a lot. I don't want them to take my blood off of the ship. <laughs> I'm gonna go clean it. <laughs> Do you sign the contract before you race out of the room? Uh, um, yeah, I'll sign. As long as the rest of y'all are signing it, I'll sign it. Yeah, we're good. We'll sign. 
Okay. Yep. You guys all sign the contract. Wonderful. It is good to have you with us again. Amira. I do know who we are. Tell what happened? What were we doing? <laughs> you came here seeking out uh, an individual. Uh, you needed transportation and you provided a, well, you agreed to provide a significant amount of gold in return for our services, vehicles, and equipment, which I see you all have on you. The Documancy Satchel, I believe you have uh, cartographer's equipment. Gold? Yes. You promised oh, us I 25 million. I'm sorry, 25,000. Oh, it's like... Significantly different. <laughs> uh, uh, why? Who was I looking for? You all didn't say. You were somewhat cagey on the matter. Wait, you we were all together looking for this person? Like, as a group? All yes, a you all received training from us as well as equipment and a chaperone to man the vehicle and get you to your destination. Mm -hmm. Looks like he failed, so we don't owe you 25,000, correct? Incorrect, the chaperone made it to the destination. As I understand, you had some success, but needed to set a new course, uh, extending your contract for another 10,000. Do I believe him? Roll an in, uh, insight check. Uh, that seems like a Nightgo weird tack on. Yeah, Nightgo is 35, though. Yeah, it's like, oh, yes, they have no idea. Because <laughs> I have 10 gold to my name. <laughs> 11. You're not sure. They're not sure whether to trust him or not. Can we see the original contract? Certainly. And he provides it. And you see your signature on it, Amira. And it doesn't say anything. Like, does it say our, our destination and where we asked to extend it to? Uh, it describes a particular fiend you are looking for and until the fiend is found it doesn't describe the fiend in the paperwork that's more of a you have the services of this employee this craft and the training and gear that you have been provided to find this particular fiend and that's it would I have an idea? say what would I personally have an idea of like who the fiend was you can take your best guess but nothing on the contract indicates this fiend. So is this contract currently active? Yes. So upon completion, we owe you 35,000 gold. That is correct. I believe uh, Amira here was prepared to make that arrangement. She did provide sufficient collateral. Is that? The, the collateral? Yeah. yeah. Well, you promised us the soul of one Loza. What? You mean Loza that's cleaning up her blood from the... Yes, that's you. Yes, you're the co-signer. And he points to your signature on it as well. I agreed to this? You did, yes. That is only if she is unable to pay. Oh, yes. Well, we'll, we'll get it sorted out, Lose. You're, you're safe. I... The only issue is... Amira, you said in this new contract we signed that all gold we make goes to 
Ack Inc. How do we make $35,000 if it all goes to Ack Inc. anyways? Well, that's only on this assignment. Uh, as I understand, Loza, or uh, Amira here had her own means of acquiring the funds. You all seemed quite sure of it when you were here, and Loza, you uh, signed the document quite happily. Most people don't expect they'll have to follow up with that kind of collateral. Yeah. Well, Amira... You do have the funds, of course. Correct. Amira, yes. Of course Amira does, right, Amira? Amira? Yeah. Um... Did I happen to say where those funds were coming from? No, you seemed quite sure you would have them. Look, we, uh, we have a little bit of amnesia, but it's slowly coming back to us. Uh, we'll, don't worry. The river we'll sticks will do that. It also may result in some minor permanent rain damage. Do people mm. in the river sticks normally get their memories back after some time? Or is this like a permanent memory loss thing? As I understand, there are some healers and witches who are able to restore this kind of thing. Do you know of any that are nearby? Well, yes, actually, Maggie <gasps> is one of those witches. That's perfect. Should you earn her good graces, perhaps she would be willing to help you. Perfect. Good to know. All right. Uh, uh, well, I guess it's <clears throat> settled then, right? We take care of this issue for Maggie, have Maggie help us out. Everyone's a winner, everyone's happy. Any, uh, any sort of anything we should know about dealing with Maggie? Anything to avoid? Anything to earn her good graces? I would just be quite mindful of her wants and needs. She's one of our best customers. Hmm. You want to make sure we take care of her quite well, but if there's anything that you can give us a advice for Perhaps they should have a chaperone boss. We could provide you with another chaperone, if that would ease your concerns. What does uh, chaperone just helps us? That's it. They could guide you to Maggie's and give you advice on the way, as they're more well versed in the landscape of Avernus than you all seem to be. I take it you're all new arrivals here. Yes. You were just Apparently. As far as we may know, is there a downside to having a guide? Is does that? No, not at all. We'll just add it to your previous contract. Is there any um, oh, other guys. stipulations that come with that? Is that no, a monetary addition? Just another 10,000. 1,000? Mm -hmm. You seemed perfectly willing to part with the funds before. Oh, that no, was no, per no, our original no. contract. We just don't have to get care of chaperones now. The last one you left us with was in this predicament. Hardly worth 10,000. Yes, well, as I understand, you ran into some trouble out there. I'm terribly sorry that happened, but as we've done here, you're no longer required to cover the cost of the damage to the vehicle or the employee. And the employee will be reprimanded. I think they're just going to, like, kind of like, say this and I'd be like, I don't know if we should do the chaperone. I don't know. 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 I think we can handle ourselves. Uh, Do you really? Are you you're questioning our it's abilities? It just seemed like you didn't fare too well out there last time. 
be well, I, me. we're alive and your man's dead, so we fared better than Coolidge. I'll oh, tell you what, I will provide you with the chaperone for a discounted rate of only 5,000. After all, our last one didn't get you all the way there, and that's fair. Amira, you're the uh, <clears throat> the backer here, so... Um... The choice is yours, I guess. Uh, were you, so you, were you guys, out. yeah. Oh, you were kind of like cutting out a bit. Oh, I said, do you, do you think we should, or? Uh, I, I think we can handle ourselves, but. What's another 5,000? Yeah, at this point, we're already in the hole. And Amira, I, your pastel was confident you could pay it, so I think as our memory comes back. Okay, uh, yeah. 5,000. Wonderful. Tilgore, if you could. Yeah, boss. And he moves and right this way, and he opens the front door, letting you guys walk through. Best of luck out there. Thank you for your help. And thank you again for choosing Acquisitions Incorporated. I'm going to go out and clean the blood on the, on the ship. As you go out, you see that that imp is finished hosing off the ship. Uh, and you do see your blood has been mostly washed off. And as you guys all step outside, the horn devil... Hey, Scrapper! Get these guys to Maggie! And he slams the door. What? Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> pleasure, pleasure to be uh, working with you, Scrapper. You fuckers better not get me killed. Why right here it was supposed to be all forgot him killed. Oh, you don't even know. You... Let's just go. <sighs> this way. And he begins marching. Do you guys want to um, continue on? Yeah, about um, taking a nap first. Uh, we're yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here. Uh, we can wrap in the junker. We can Whatever. nap in the junker. The pile of junk you brought back. Oh. Works for um, me. I guess. Fine. He hops on, opens the hatch. And you guys can take a long rest if you so choose. I'll uh, take a long rest. Uh, yeah. I'll take a long rest. Uh. By the way, George, everybody's audio sounds like underwater for some reason. Uh yeah. oh, wait, hon. Audio sounds good to me. Everyone else is just kind of. Yeah, uh, you're so good. I think it's Discord. One second, I'm gonna disconnect from yeah. Discord and reconnect. I think it, I think it's a Discord thing. Uh yeah, let's all hop out of Discord real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Are we better? Yeah, no, not better. All right, one second. No. Tracy sounded fine there. Tracy sounded good to me. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, everyone sounds better. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, there suddenly, we go. Beautiful. beautiful. Suddenly better. Okay. Yay. There we go. Beautiful. Oh wait, now I got. Oh, I got to fix the thing. There we go. Nope. There we go. All right, we're back. Okay, you guys all take a long rest in the ship. What do you guys do? Do you have any 
conversations. Loza is going to pray. It's a Sunni. Okay, what's that like? Um, Loza will take out um, a small uh, little hand mirror that she has in her... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Sorry, you want me to do it? Do it again. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Sune, please speak to me. Why am I here? She speaks into this mirror. Um, it's a small hand mirror, and she like looks at it. I don't. I don't understand. Why? Why hell? Did I do something wrong? Are you... Are you punishing me? I thought that I was... I thought that I was helping people. Showing them love. Why am I here? As you pray... You start to feel something swell inside you. And you feel this wealth of emotion and you look and as you look at your companions, you suddenly start to feel heartache and yearning from all three of them. Loza understands. She doesn't say anything out verbally. But she keeps that in mind. What about the rest of you guys? Could I look through like my little notebook that I have and see if it gives me any information of like what I was doing before? Make a investigation check at advantage. Uh, 21 and 15, so 21. You see scribblings inside of it. Normally you fill your journal entries with very meticulous detail. But in the weeks that have passed, it seems to be all scribbled on just a few pages, and there's not even dates marking them off. You seem to have been in a frantic search, and there's mentions of, we found him. It won't be long now. I didn't write who him was. Not like me. You did sketch. And you sketched a man with eyes that they were kind of inverted. A well-dressed man with horns. Do I know who that is, George? You do. Fake. <laughs> okay. I won't say anything yet. I'll wait till like the party is like back together. Mouser and Johnny, this is the most you've spent together in either of yours memory since childhood. You guys have mostly lived separate lives and now you're sleeping in the same quarters together. Well, obviously, uh, I never, I guess I never got to say thank you. For saving my life. That's that's the last thing I remember. Do I even remember that? Yeah, you remember like, rushing in and finding him grieving in inside of his house as it was burning. I, I wish I could... I, mean, I remember bringing you out, but... It's all fuzzy. I, you, you remember grabbing him? You, you start to wonder to yourself... Maybe you never made it out of that house. 
You think you did, but did you, or did you just think about getting out of the house? Did you run outside, or was that your plan, and you never made it? It's hard to tell from this point in time. Probably just think on that and just... I mean, <clears throat> whatever happened, I, I think we're dead, but... We'll find out. We're not dead dead, I guess. We're just in hell dead. Just ironic, but... Yeah, I mean, I against it long enough, I'm, I'm bound to show up here. Let's just, let's, let's watch our, each other's backs down here. Let's... Don't go running off headstrong like always. Make things a... Uh... Hmm. A little, little caution this time around between you and uh, the crying one. Some caution would be good. Mm, no, no promises on that one. All of you go ahead and make a constitution check. Uh, check or saving throw? Check. The, As you all try to get a good night's sleep. Yep. Fifteen. God awful rolls, man. You guys are all able to get some sleep. You rest up. You're fully rested. Well, bad news and worse news. You guys flooded the engine. Hmm. This thing's not moving anywhere. Who would flood the engine? Was that the worst news or the bad news? That was the bad news. The worst news is... <sighs> we're probably going to have to take the long way around. There's a whole... <sighs> the weather report says there's a whole swarm of demons coming from the south, so that's no good. It did say the weather was going to get bad. True. Something about hellfire and brimstone and... I said that was for every day's weather. I was going to say... Exactly. The, the fire and all that, that's normal. We don't want to get anywhere near the demons. So when the demons okay. come, then, 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 uh, then, the, then the infernal machines come. And when the infernal machines come, it's, it's, you don't want to be anywhere near that. So what's the long way? We just got to follow the river sticks and then we bank a right. We should be there within a day's travel. A day? We have to travel more than a day to get to this place? I thought the well, I'm not looking forward stuff. to it either, lady. Loza, this is... A day is not far for a travel. We'll be fine. Do we have, like, camping gear or something? Do you camp along the river Styx? Do we have tents? This I isn't... usually go glamping, so, L you know, Loza, things Loza, are... Loza, Loza, we are in hell. I'm sure hell. we can find a bombed out car or something to sleep in. Can't uh, sleep in this you can use, Loza. I mean, that's if you guys even need to sleep. Well, sleep I, I do. I mean, I feel great. We just had a nap, right? So. Mm -hmm. You guys did sleep for about six to eight hours, but looking outside the sky the hasn't changed at all no yeah. well let's let's just get going uh, yeah let's I not suppose. beat around the bush um you'd mentioned that like we they, they'd given us supplies did we were we given like acting jobs is that all sorted yeah uh, i believe you guys should all have them from uh yeah. prior to this our character creation yeah. yeah i'm just making sure that that was like in effect okay yeah that all should be in effect. Um, you guys want to go off and uh, list off what your jobs are? Just I'm to refresh each other. Author. Right? I'm the lore monger. I am the cartographer. I'm the walking <laughs> bag of holding with a spreadsheet. <laughs> That's Nick's Very job good. always. <laughs> Very good. Yes, I do remember that conversation. <laughs> spreadsheet guy. <laughs> LinkedIn Discord. 
<laughs> you guys begin to travel. Um, who is... Well, I guess your guide is helping lead. Um, let's see. Which and, one of you would walk. like to roll the ceremonial D100? Well, I guess as cartographer, I probably should, right? If you would like. Don't roll a two. Uh, a two. D100. Is there even... There it is. Put a two on the D100. I'm distracted. Four. Mm -hmm. A four. A four. Wow. <laughs> roll a four okay. A <laughs> roll a d6 for me. A one. Three. Oh my god. Still below average. As you guys walk you start to feel the effects of that weather that you heard on the radio as searing heat beats down on you guys as you travel. You don't see much along the desolate wasteland of destroyed terrain, ruins that look like they, they're from all different points in time, twisted vehicles, but the heat just bears down on you and you think that anything alive in this wasteland is probably sheltering themselves while you guys march. I would like all of you to make a con saving throw. Oh, a 23. 20. Hmm. Wow. Wow, oh, our constitution. Oh, you never uh, did the prediction result. Give me my loss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do I do that? I'm sorry, one more time. It's Constitution. Constitution saving, saving throw. throw. Save. Yeah. Nope. Um, I was bargaining for half my chair. I'm sorry. I get money back. <laughs> hey, a natural 20. <laughs> okay. You guys all managed to safely uh, make it through kind of conditioning yourself, finding shade where you can... Uh, but the heat is just exhausting. After a while of travel, however, you guys see that Scrapper starts to get alarmed. Ah, uh, oh crap. Everyone, keep quiet, keep quiet. And he ducks behind a large rock. Should we also hide? Probably, yes. Yes, okay. please. Time to hide. Time to hide. Roll, Let's roll go. stealth checks. <laughs> I am just eleven. No, because clank, 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 clank. Oh wait, I thought I had something for this. I guess 20. not. You do. Um, give me one moment. Uh, oh, I, don't what the heck? I don't think it's written down. You have uh, one second. I'll pull up what you have. I remember. Yeah, I thought I had a blessing or something. You do. I'm pulling up one second. Name. Yep, I remember. One sec. Uh, it is... Regardless, uh, I don't think that actually rolls the disadvantage on beyond 20. Um, it just shows the disadvantage icon on my thing, but it's fine. You did roll it. You got oh, yeah. the disadvantage. Gotcha. For both. <laughs> Yeah, because we got clanky armor. Clank, Double clank, fours. Clank, Let's clank, go. Clank, clank. You guys all keep quiet except for Mouser, whose armor clank, like kind of like uh. shifts, and you see over this rock that you guys hide are hiding behind. Uh, you see one moment, one moment, uh, ba, 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 ba. one moment, please. You see this. And it starts sniffing around looking for you guys. And it's just one of them is kind of walking around. Ah, oh, crap. I think one of them saw us. Can we can 
continue to hide. <laughs> if he saw us, he's gonna sniff us out. And give me one moment while I just place you guys on the map real quick. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. It's not gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> New prediction. Will we die? Mouse, sir. <laughs> you expect him in flight? Rat guy. Mouse, so am I. <laughs> they are approaching, uh, but slowly. If there's anything you guys would like to do to try to avoid detection now that you're no how longer many, moving. How many are there? Uh, give me a perception check. As you guys are hiding behind this rock, you all hear something that sounds like this. Something, a small creature letting out yells. Sounds like something's fighting with some of these rat guys. Mercer, you get a count on them. You think there's four of them, but only one of them is walking towards you all. Maybe we hmm. could grab them and keep them quiet, take them out. Yeah, who's, who's the quietest of us that can kind of grab a choke on him or something. <laughs> uh, may not be the quietest, but I'm probably the strongest. You believe that they're somewhere over here. Uh, you see a war machine is parked over here, and this one is approaching you guys. Can we just, like, quietly shuffle to the other side of the rock? <laughs> If you guys would all like to roll stealth checks, you could certainly try to do that. Oh, those statistics. Unless anyone has a better idea. Um, maybe. How how big is the rock? Um, the one you're behind. Yeah. I mean, it it's a massive boulder. Gotcha. There's a bunch I, of rocks was, around was, you, but like, yeah, no, it's massive. I was thinking that maybe you know, uh, one of us two is not very stealthy or rolled double fours uh, could effectively wait here and have. Others drop down and ambush them. I, I could try to ambush them, grab them, keep them quiet. Um, Amir would turn to uh, the imp and, and be like, do, "Do you know anything? Or like, can we reason with him?" He's one of Raga Draga's guys. We don't want to fuck with Raga Draga. If, well, if we, I suppose technically your guys' assignment is to fuck with Raga Draga, but I don't think we want to fuck with Raga Draga's guys like out in the open like this. These guys will probably kick our ass. Could could we take this one stealthily? I mean, if, if you're really good, maybe. Can't we just go back to our car? Uh, we didn't bring the car. You guys, yeah, yeah I've been walking. Broken. Oh. Yeah, car's yeah. dead. I see you take the jump on him. Jog on my back? Yeah, yeah. We gotcha. Okay, so I'm guessing one of you wants to be bait and the rest of you want to jump this guy? Is that what I'm understanding? You could work Loza. You seem very good, like good bait. They probably don't I'm see me. Yes. I, you are. I, I was going to say, I, I can wait down here with... What was the imp's name again? Scrapper. Scrapper. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> I, I mean, I could wait with the imp. I... I or <laughs> Scrapper. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tyrion. Well, I'm probably she would actually say that too. Yeah. I'll like wait here with the flesh bag. <laughs> Alright. Loza, you're... That's Eight. my cue. Now, sir, we'll jump him. Okay. All right. Loza, you step out, attracting this thing's attention. 
<laughs> hey, pretty lady. <laughs> I'm lost. Can you help me? <laughs> Roll a deception check. <laughs> We're the best. He stops right about here. You alone? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm alone. Nah, you got friends here, huh? As soon as, as, yeah. as soon as he <laughs> says that, I charge out. Go ahead and you guys all roll initiative, please. Uh, and actually, give me one moment. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. This encounter is one of those encounters that you don't want to have. But here we go. Yay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Not that foresight. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Johnny, 16. Mouser. Uh, oh, 16. Johnny, 15. My bad. Uh, Loza, 16. You guys nine. all rolled again? 16. Oh, my uh, God. Nine. Yeah, you guys just keep rolling the same things. For better and for worse. <laughs> okay. Uh... He's gonna die in style. Combat time. He starts to approach, and Mouser and Loza, you guys can both react first. Or if you want to, if you want to wait for Johnny, because Johnny said he was gonna act first. Actually, a hold action. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Johnny can Johnny. go ahead and take a surprise round. Go ahead and attack Johnny. Uh, he'll. He'll uh, shout Inferno and uh, light his sword as he charges forward and attacks. You shout 22. Inferno? Yeah. Well, not shout, but enough to, to ignite the sword. Inferno, and you rush forward. Okay. 20, 22 to hit. All right. Do you get right up in front of him like this? Uh, Yeah, as close, like a, the shortest distance to actually hit him. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, you said 22, 22 to hit? Yes, that hits. Uh, how much damage was that? Six, 16 damage. 16. Is that including the fire? Yes, including the fire. Okay, one moment. Um, yep, that hits. 16 damage. He... <laughs> it burns and he recoils back. You're happy to see that your fire, or your flaming sword does hurt him um, as he recoils, but he's still quite up and alive. Uh, that brings us to Mouser and Loza. Your turn. Up to you. Um, I will try to strike him. Um, with my sword. Okay. I rolled a 20. 20. Uh, that hits. Roll damage. You rush up, pulling out your sword. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna try to do this quietly, if possible. <laughs> um, like try to just like get him in a like the neck or something. Okay. Uh, Mouser, your turn. Yeah, I guess I guess we're doing this. Um. Yeah, I guess uh, if I have enough movement to try and run up and attack him as well. Okay. Uh, as hit him with the booming blade. She stabs him and corners him in. You rush up and swipe at him. Roll the hit. You rolling? Yeah, it's triggered. Oh, okay. Well, 12, that, uh, that hits. Wow, surprised. Yep, that was his AC. My rolls have been butts. 
Level one. Level one. Okay. Right, ten with booming blade. You guys are able to quickly dispatch him, and he goes down. Um, uh, thankfully, by the way, if you had used booming blade, uh, just to let you know, the thunder sound, I believe, would be heard. Oh, from... is it? I thought that only happens if it, like, triggers. If they move. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Well, that's what you wouldn't have used booming blade, because let's say he ran from you. Then yeah. it would immediately, yeah. So just gotcha. a heads okay. up. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I know it's the first time like you're really using that spell. Um, okay, mm. so that uh, you dispatch him quickly and he goes down. Loza, at this point, you hear something coming from behind the rock where the other three are. You hear this. Whatever it was, it didn't sound good. We should probably grab this, or we should just run. We should grab take, this guy and run. Yeah, we should take his body with us. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Let's get let's get that let's get out of here. Loza, to clarify, it sounds like an animal in pain. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Hold no! On. It wails, <laughs> and you see that these giant were rats. It looks like the other ones, they are busy swarming around this. Oh, wait, you guys can't see it. Do a toy. Yeah. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Oh, no, it's so cute. Oh, no. Squeeze. You what? You feel a, a, a small amount of kingship with this thing, as this thing you recognize it to be celestial. It's divine. You are so celestial, uh, friends. We have to help that thing. They're going to hurt it. Please. What is it surrounded by? The, How many the are there? Rack? The other three. Uh, one moment. Level one, I can't do anything. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the situation that you guys see. Three of them have cornered it and are trying to kind of catch it. I'm just gonna... You know what? Losa, you're, you're right. Cruelty demands retribution. No, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Not here. It does not. Why? Why not here? Uh, because we'll die. You said this gang is the one we're supposed to put in its place, right? Well, yeah, 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 but like, not, not like by we'll ourselves. Get, we'll get bonus points with Maggie if we take care of this. But you. I, I don't. Maggie yeah. probably doesn't care about that thing. Okay. She's a, she's she's like a vile monster. She she doesn't she, care about. She hates this gang. We're gonna vanquish them and save that poor creature. You gotta Everybody? get your ass kicked, and we're all gonna die. All right. How um, how 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 badass? Do you, like, or how tough do you think those guys normally are? Like, you 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 obviously have more knowledge. It than took you three do. of you ganging up on one of them to take them down. The the odds are almost even here. God. What about their, what about their war machine? Their... The vehicle, could, could we steal the vehicle and use it against them? Run them down, Do, maybe? I, I mean, yeah, if someone here knew properly how to drive, yeah, maybe. Uh, I saw what you did to the last ride you got. You look, 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 we can, we'll, we'll just, we'll go, we'll leave, we go to Maggie, okay? And, 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 and you know, maybe she gives us a ride and we can hunt these guys down later. No, we will not leave this creature in need. Well, that, that's no, real so stupid of you, lady, so. Listen, listen, I, 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 I agree that there's some upside to that, Luza, but we can't just go running into things all the time. He's <laughs> got a point. Mouser, we're hell riders. This is what we do. We protect creatures like this. I think we could run them over. 
I, 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 do I know I what that creature we, is? I don't think we just blindly run out. If Say that again. Wins. Do I know what yeah. that creature is? Yeah. Y you know that it's celestial. Oh. Okay. Okay, Johnny, please. We can sneak to that that yes. machine and run them over. I believe. Or we can just sprint to the machine and run them over. Or they can get in their I... little machines over there and they can run us down. Are there, Are there multiple war machines? <laughs> they, 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 got mo they got devil's rides right next to them. Is there more than oh, one? Oh, those though? are bikes. Oh, I those thought are those bikes. were like bulls or something. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Oh, those are, those bikes. are bikes. Yeah, they're like two wheeled motorcycles, essentially. Well, how about I stay here? You guys go in the machine, and if they start to drive away, I can grab the creature. Oh, yes. Yes, they. All gung ho, but not not willing to act. Uh, I'll, I'll sit behind this rock and watch you guys all die. That's a good you plan. You, you're 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 clearly the skilled one. Well, you want me to you drive? Going in the car? Yeah, no, I should go with Johnny. Go, go with Johnny. I, on that thing, Look, that's I can't scrapper. even reach the pedals. No, you just you're you're, you're tell him what to do. You tell him what to do. Scrapper, we're going. Me. We're sneaking over there, and we're gonna attack with them. Okay. Get a car. Safe in the car? Fine, fine, fine. Get a free Let's go. Get to Maggie's. All right. Scrapper starts bolting it to the uh, other war machine. All right. When Losa, uh, Amira, and Mouser, whenever we start driving, you attack. Can you move me up by them, George? Yeah, I'll like, uh, move sure. slightly closer. Ever so slightly. All right. I'll, I'll try to sneak over there. Um. Okay. Give me a stealth check. 10. 10. Hmm. They're fighting. Book it. Ten. Let's see. Um, if, 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 yeah, if they mm, notice mm, me, mm. I'm booking it. I just want to remind Nick that he has inspiration in case he wants to. Oh, I also have anyone. inspiration. You also I have, have inspiration? inspiration. When was I? Oh no, inspiration? not Nick. So Andrew has inspiration. I was like, what? I'll, I'll go ahead. I'll stealth my way with some inspiration. Twenty-three, not twenty. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. A good use of inspiration. Okay, that does uh, allow you to slip past them uh, really? and make it to the war machine. Sunglasses. Uh, and uh, who else is doing what? Uh, I have my eyes on that creature. Yes, yeah, as, as soon as we start driving, I'm gonna, we're going to try to run over the one that doesn't, that is not on his bike. Uh, one has grabbed the creature. <laughs> Does uh, Scrapper teach me how to drive? Okay, okay. So first, you you gotta need soul coins. You got soul coins? Do you have soul coins? I have. We used our one soul coin. I will. I will give you a soul coin, but you owe me a soul coin. Fair, fair. You don't. You don't fuck me on this. I would never, never dream of it. I will, I will kill you while you sleep. <laughs> Give me the coin. He gives you a soul coin. All right, pop that bad boy in there. Okay. One moment. There we go. Uh, ba 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 ba. George knows uh, our weakness, and it's cute animals. Yeah. Yep. It's cute little things. It's so we're cute. Like, <laughs> we can't. What? 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 There we go. Okay. So, yes, you have control of this thing. One second. Uh, oh, I got to fix that. Anyway, uh, you we'll have the war machine. And then run them over. You're in the war machine. What else would you like to do? Uh, I want to drive it straight at there's one that's on the ground right that is well free all three the of them are next to this thing okay i want to if kill as many as i can by just running them over without injuring the creature the creature can fly right but it's also I think you it's can like try to hit this one right here uh, uh well, yeah, this one right here okay do you want to like try to ram him yeah, just run them clean over. Okay, go ahead and um, 
Just uh, I do give that me. Yeah. Will I be hitting the bikes as well? Yes. That's fine. I want to. I want to disable the bikes by running them over as well. Okay. Go ahead and uh, give me a dexterity check with proficiency. What? Oh, good. Wonderful. Good job. I, I like oh. this. I'm happy to be a part of this. Uh, Use one moment. My inspiration. <laughs> I have, I, I'm having normal flashbacks. Okay. Oh. So, uh, you, anymore. you guys watch as he made it to the car. Uh, Loza, you're prepared to step out, I'm guessing, and yes. attract these guys' Incredible. attention. Yeah. You hey. rush out. Put they that turn. Thing down. And you watch as Johnny floors it. Johnny, what do you say just before you gun this thing? Uh, you just hear, yeehaw! Wonderful. Give me one moment. Uh, I need to get Johnny's theme music going. I feel like Kip. Uh, Johnny races towards them, splattering this one, knocking this war We're machine getting... into the river sticks. Oh. One moment. Uh, knocking that war machine into the river sticks. Uh, that one gets hit on the grill, uh, does not dodge. He is immediately impaled. Uh, you then, after hitting it, you knock this machine over and then you drive right into the river sticks. <laughs> now that's action. Uh, that one's dead. The other two look. Ah, ah, get him! Uh, no, you're not going anywhere. Halt! The one that's not occupied rushes at you, Loza, and will go ahead and attack. Uh, that's gonna be. Uh, let's see. Uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Uh, it hits you with its short sword for. Seven slashing damage. Okay. Um, and then does a 13 hit. Nope. All right, and then it, it, you deflect its next blow with the sword with your shield. Um, the other one grabs the small elephant creature. Mm, let me go, let me go. And it wraps its hands around it and pulls out a dagger. Uh, Mouser and Loza, it's your turn. Um, I guess, I guess we'll come up to, uh, I'll come up to join Loza. Um, do I, I, I guess I, of course I don't see Johnny at you all. You saw Johnny crash off the thing into the water. <sighs> He's like right about here. <laughs> That's true, is, baby. Uh, Johnny, you take four bludgeoning damage as the car hits the water and your head hits onto the steering wheel. Ouch. Um. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm still processing. Um. Yeah, I guess I will attack the the the, the rat man in front of us. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, make your rolls to hit. Yep. Now we'll go ahead with booming blade too, assuming I hit. Assuming sixteen hits. Sixteen does hit. So rolling damage. Rolling OP damage. Oh, nine's not that bad. So nine with uh, the, the booming blade effect. Okay, you slash him for nine damage. Uh, it howls in anger. Uh, give me one moment. Um, okay, yeah, it howls. Um, you actually see that your weapon didn't do as much damage as you thought it should. Hmm. Lovely. Is he wearing armor or something like that? 
No, you just see the heal, the wound heal very quickly. Interesting. Maybe fire was the key. Loza, uh, your turn. Um, I'm gonna strike this one with my great sword. Okay. Um, I rolled an eight to hit. Okay, one moment, one moment. Uh, that misses. And I'm going to try to provoke the other one. Um, I look at it and say, put that creature down or you will suffer. Um, Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? You ugly rat face. Okay, uh, give me one moment. Um, uh, yeah, just roll like a intimidation check. Intimidation? Uh, and uh, Emira, your turn. Actually, uh, Johnny, uh, your turn. You are in a sinking car. Uh, Emira, you can get her turn? No, her, her uh, turn's coming up. Now. Johnny oh, gotcha. did like the sneak thing. Uh, uh, can I get out, like climb out and like jump ashore? Is that a possibility? Uh, sure. Uh, give me an athletics check. I can't also, get the car is, out though, right? Is, oh no, that car's toast. Uh, uh, an 11, is Scrapper okay? Is he blind? He did not get in the car with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's part of him. Uh, I rolled an 11. Okay. Um, let's see. Give me one moment. Um, and these rolls. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I just need to check one thing about... Um, Give me a con saving throw. Actually, hold on one second. What is it? It's uh, ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm -hmm. one sec, one sec. Uh, give me a um, what is that? Intelligence saving throw. Key seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Yep. Uh, you do succeed. Uh, well, mm, you crawl out of the car, and yeah, you do manage to make it to shore. Um, Perfect. With that, uh, let's see. Um, that brings us to uh, Amira. Your turn. Uh, I'll walk out from behind the rock, and as mm -hmm. I do, these dark, like not tentacles, but like these like tendrils come out from underneath the the rat guy. And I cast Arms of Hadare. It's got a strength saving throw of 14. Wow. Uh, who are you targeting? The rat that they're in front of right now. Oh, that them. they're attacking? Mm -hmm. Okay, give me one moment. Uh, and what's the saving throw you said? Uh, 14. It fails. It does get grabbed by these blackened tentacles. Takes seven necrotic damage. And also it says each creature that is in the area must make a strength saving throw on a failed save. They take a 2d6 necrotic damage and they can't take reactions until it's next turn. Okay, uh, one moment. Um, Cool. Um, How far is the other one, by the way? Uh, the other one is one about 20 feet away. Okay. Yeah, it says uh, any creatures that are in 10 feet. So if he was close enough, then I could have did it to both. Yeah, you do get this one. Um, you said he does seven to crack damage. And what else does it do to him? He's, he's um, restrained. He can't take reactions until the next turn. Okay, cool. Uh, that brings us to their turn. Um, the one where rat is going to attempt to 
He is struggling with the small creature trying to drag it towards the war machine, uh, but it actually gores him for four piercing damage. Uh, while the other one... You're not... This thing's ours, all right? We found it! Just back off! And the one in front of you, uh, Loza, will attack. Um, that's gonna be a... 13 to hit, I believe, misses. That misses? And then does a 15 hit. That misses. It misses twice against your shield. Uh, that brings us to uh, your turn, I believe. Yours and Mouser's. Are we on like a, a an incline of sorts? There is a drop behind him. I want to knock him off. I'm going to like take my shield and try to bash him off. Okay. Um, I don't actually have a shield bash. But I'm gonna just roll my greatsword. Yeah, no, you know, you can just uh, oh, to just you can just do a, a it would be a shove, just make an attack roll with plus your strength and proficiency to like shove him. That would be your your action essentially. Okay, so that is a oh nat twenty. Okay, what? you shove him and he falls prone down onto the ground, uh, taking. Uh, taking two bludgeoning damage, but falling prone um, onto I'm the ground. Going to use all of my movement to get to this uh, creature. The okay. Creature. You rush up to the other one. Uh, you have enough movement to get in between him and his bike if you want. I will. I'll stop in front of the bike and pull my sword and shield in front of him. Put it down now, and I will let you go. He turns and recoils at you holding this thing. I'll kill it! I'll kill it! You can run free right now. You have a choice. Roll an intimidation we will check. Not harm, we will not harm you. And while that's happening, Mouser, go ahead and make... Uh, I'm guessing you're probably going to attack the guy oh, who's down. I'm, I'm about to just run off this cliff and just freaking drop this great sword through him. Uh. <laughs> make your attack at advantage since he's prone. Uh, Leaping how do I strike. How do I advantage these things? I just automatic, just roll twice manually? Mm -hmm. okay. I usually do. There's a macro for it, but I just usually roll twice. Two clicks it is. Two clicks. Uh, it, it's a bad one. Don't don't look at that one. I, I want a different one. I want to redo. <laughs> I want a new one. What? I want, no, I want, it's, it's 10. Uh, let's see, roll well, the other one. What is this? What are you? What are you? Or... It always rolls into the corner that's like it, where it gets hidden. Uh, I'll take the I'll take the twenty three. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, twenty three hits. Twenty three, Bob. Uh, um, big damage. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna drop through him for nine damage. Do I get any bonus damage for landing on him? Uh, yeah. Gravity. Give me one sec. <laughs> Yeah, Bonus you get an extra five damage. bludgeoning damage as you step on him, as you gorge this sword into him. Uh, it howls in pain. The other one... <sighs> get away from the bike! You have a choice. Think long and hard about this, little one. Can I, do I have extra movement still? Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, so I guess, like, dragging, dragging the great sword from this from this rat's body behind me, I start walking towards towards the rat. Put the creature down. Uh, give me one moment. Uh, does a twelve hit you? Me? No. Uh, me? Mal, sir. No. Okay. The rat is still alive, by the way. Uh, oh, does shit. try to claw at you after you stabbed him and stepped on him. Uh, uh, that wasn't a reaction, though, was it? Yeah, because he walked away from him. Yeah, yeah, but, it, but he doesn't oh, you're reactions. right. He can't take he's reactions. Never mind. You're right. Thank you. The tentacles hold him down as he tries to attack you. He missed anyway, but yes, thank you. Doesn't uh, matter. <laughs> yeah, he rushes. He ah, and the tentacles hold him back. Um, you take it. I take bike. 
Yes, that's a deal. <laughs> he kind of like circles around and tries to like shove the thing into your arms. Okay. Are you letting him escape? Yeah, I will let him go. Uh, is it my turn though? We're gonna get to that in a second. <laughs> Do you remember he what the turn is? Shoves you off, or shoves the uh, thing into your hands and tries to speed away. Uh, Amira and uh, Mouser, is there anything you want to try to do? Um. Oh, wait, I have a crossbow, I think. Well, that, you already took your action. Wait, I just wait, meant if there was action, something yeah. else. I mean, you could attempt to shoot him on your next turn. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, there's nothing else I can really do. Amira, how about you? Vanessa. I, oh, um. You are Amira. Feet of me? Uh, no, he's like speeding away, but you like you can see him if you want to take your turn to attack him, the one that's trying to get out of there. Uh. Or there's the one on the ground. You could attack him instead. I was just double checking if my other one was concentration, and it's not. So I would cast uh ray of frost and that like that cold wind would go again because it's 60 feet. Is it the one that is racing away or is it the one that the one you that's have already... racing away or is he not in my line of sight anymore? Well he's trying to race away it, it's kind of like an agreement he made but if you want to attack him you can. Does it look like my team wants to let him go? <laughs> only Losa. Yeah I'm, I'm the only one who's okay with letting him go. She made the deal. <laughs> but I think, yeah. um, well, I would then look at the, uh, like the other two and be like, do you want me to stop him? <laughs> yeah. that nod. You can. Uh, I would do the cold, uh, okay. ray, Roll the hit. The ray of frost on the bike though. Okay. Uh, 19. That hits. Nice. And a five. Five. Let's see. Oh, dear. Uh, the bike goes racing off this way, um, slams into this rock because of your actions, and hurdles him into the river sticks. Uh, no Mouser, uh, do you want to finish this one off that's behind you? I mean, is he is he still pinned? I guess or like incapacitated? Or no, like... he he's about to actually. Uh, I believe he's not uh, held right with arms of Hadar. No, he's okay, not yeah. held. He just can't take reactions. Um, he gets up the... and he will attack you on his turn. How far does he move? Um. Yeah, because you moved away from him. He does move five feet. So go ahead and do the damage for our booming blade. <laughs> this, <laughs> this poor guy. This, this poor zap. guy. Um. Oh wait, is that, is that correct? No, that's that's second wind. Shit, that's my bad. I put the wrong thing. Um, spells or is it a D10? Is it or is it D8? It's a D8, right? D8. So your yeah, one D8. There we go. Roll this. Um, six. 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 Okay. Damage. He takes six damage. He does attempt to attack you. Um, let's see. That's going to be uh, 14 to hit. I'm guessing that misses. Oh, that misses. Okay. Uh, By the way, George, and... you're hovering over an emote or something for Discord. Oh, my bad. I was okay. hovering over the... I was reading it. Um, e yeah. Yeah. Uh, he misses you, and then uh, go ahead if you want to make an attack on him. Finish him! <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we'll... Uh, do I need to keep recasting Booming Blade? Or it's a cantrip, so I mean... Yeah, it's it's an action each turn. Yeah, yeah I, I guess... Uh, you know... He, he backed the greatsword and uh, 
around with the loud crack of thunder, swing down with booming blade to attack him again. Okay. It's gonna be rolling. Oh, it's a big one. It, that 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 that's another twenty-three. My man's getting beat. Okay. Yeah, he goes down. Um, I don't even need the damage on that one. He goes down. Um, Johnny, you emerge from the wreckage of the car. Um, you're not sure how you got here. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why he said he'll get oh to that. Oh, my God. <laughs> even forgot everything. <laughs> you're muted. <laughs> Uh, Mal Mouser? You just watch as Mouser kills this rat man, and Loza is holding this. Uh, this woman you don't know is holding this elephant who is. Thank you! Thank you so much! Johnny, did you drink the water? Amir would be checking out their anatomy I... and checking what? their pockets for stuff. <laughs> now, you... I don't know what's going on, Mouser. Are, are your clothes wet? A bit. Uh, he is. Uh, he fucking drank it, didn't he? Fucking drink. Drink what? Behind you, Johnny. Don't drink that. Are we in hell? Yeah. What does it look like? Uh, of course, we're in hell. I have. I have such a headache. Uh, I think taking two, two back to back dips in the river will do that. Uh, uh, see, see, the, see the thing in the river? Drive better. Can I Let me see if I can salvage the, the bike. bike. He go the uh, he goes to salvage the bike. You search the bodies, you find four of those soul coins. Nice. And uh, each one of them has its own howling feeling as you touch yeah. it. Do you, do you want me to hold on to those again? Yes, please. Can, can, you, uh, can you catch me up at least? For hell, we don't know why. Way. We got a job to go, go help someone else, get back our memories, repeat okay. back any debt we got. These okay. are our friends. Introduce yourself. Johnny's come again. Mouser, as you grab the soul coins, she hands you them, and she hands you three of them, and you grab those, and she hands you a fourth one, and suddenly you fall to the ground. Like, as if someone just put a 900-pound weight in your hands. What the hell? Um, can I try you, to... Uh, you can't lift it. Can I try to put, like... Can I put, like, one of them into the, the, the bag of holding and... If that'll work. You try to like, you kind of drop the coins on the ground. You pick up one coin, you put it in your bag of holding. Pick up another coin, you put it in your bag of holding. Third coin, you put it in your bag of holding. Do you want to put the fourth coin in? I pick it up. You, <laughs> you can't. Oh. But I could. I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. George is looking if I could. <laughs> That's a good question. Let's see. Mouser, you don't know what's going on? No, I don't. I don't understand why. You never carried way. all four of them, uh, uh, Amira. Oh. You only had one of them or like, like a few, like two or so at a time. Does uh, Scrapper say anything? Cause I, I mean, I don't know the deal, but you know. Uh, I mean, if you want to ask him, one. he's looking at the bike right now. <sighs> I mean, it'll drive, but not very good. Fur, how come we can't hold all of those? What, soul coins? Yeah. Uh, you must be... You must be new here. Uh, or oh, you got here through a contract, I'm guessing, huh? You guys all make I... contracts or something? Just to go help this woman. No, no, no. I mean to get here. 
the hell? Good people can't carry those things. Not a lot of them anyway. But then again, good people like... wouldn't end up here unless they did something stupid, like signing a contract. Ah, you all look the type. I mean, you people. But... <laughs> I mean, the four of you people. Thank you so know. much, lady. Can I talk to this nice creature? Um, where are you <laughs> from? Um, I don't know. You are not from this plane. I don't think so. You are from the heavens, are you not? That sounds right. You not remember how you got here? No. That makes two of us. <laughs> uh, five of us, actually. George, can you put it back on the screen? Yes, I can put <laughs> it back on the screen. <laughs> I got no No, not the rat. <laughs> oh, no. Not the rat. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Do you at least know your name? I think my name's Lulu. <laughs> What's your I'm name? Uh, my name is Losa. Hi, Losa. And these are my Can friends. we be friends? Uh, of course. <laughs> we meet the other friends. We all helped save you. This was a group effort. I'd like you to meet Amira, Johnny, Mouser. Hi! This is Lulu, everybody. He is a it divine being, and we should treat him with respect. Uh, I, I, yeah, I think it's a her. One ben. second. Ben? Um, one moment. Uh, double checking. Um, give me the divine being's pronouns. Yeah, it's a she. So, okay. Treat her with respect as she is a divine creature. Amira immediately starts writing notes about it. <laughs> um, the size, well, the weight. Do you know? Do you have any idea why those things were trying to capture you? I don't. I don't know. I. I've had a lot of people try to capture me. So all you remember is just being here and people trying to capture you. Then. Nothing else? Do you remember family, friends, anything? Um, let me think. Um, um, I, I think I came here with the like a group of people. Like you guys. Like us specifically? Or No. Like... Never met you before. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, we'll help you find whoever you came with. Although I suppose if I met you before I wouldn't remember. I mean, I don't maybe it is you. Much. I don't remember much before waking up in that river over there, so we will help you find your way out as we too are seeking a way out. Okay. Little creature. Good work, Great. everybody. <laughs> you know, those... Scrapper, you should be thankful that we took care of this job for Maggie, you know? We took out all of these foul yeah. beings. I'm starting to see, uh, I'm starting to think that maybe it, uh, it wasn't, uh, uh, Coolidge's fault for what happened to the last ride, huh? I'm seeing a pattern here. Know, he's, huh? the, he's the dead one. Dead before we found him. Mm-hmm. So it's just coincidence that your friend here, uh, and he looks over at the war machine currently sitting in the river sticks. We weren't driving that we know of. Uh-huh. He... Coolidge was the one impaled in the driver's chair. Well, we got one working devil's ride. Uh, I guess the rest of us are on foot. 
Where are you all can going? No, no, you cannot. No. You, you drove the last one into the into the river, and that's why you can't remember much, Johnny. I know, I know, you can't remember anything right now, but uh, you you kind of you kind of not looking too great in the driving forms and uh in hell. Give it some time. But, uh, that's what I'm good at. Okay. That's not a good thing to be pitching right now, Johnny. All right. I wouldn't lead with your driving abilities down here. I guess we'll all stick together and walk together then. Uh, Lulu, what do you, what do you do? What are your, do you have abilities or? Um, I can fly. And I Could can make carry... noise with my trunk. Could you carry one of us flying? No, Lulu, by the way, is about like, like the size of a Pomeranian. But flying. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Come I along, asked... Lulu. We'll protect you. I asked Scrapper, um, like if he has any ideas as to why they're after her. <sighs> well <sighs> let's just say celestial things are um sort of a commodity. They're worth Here. a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, lots of magic that you can get out of them. It's fun to torture them. How Things like that. How much you say one normally goes for? Oh, uh... At least a couple gold hundred. Coins? coins? How much in gold? Oh, gold. Thousands. Easy. Tens? Hundreds? A, a soul is... The, the more good the soul is, the, 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 the more worthwhile it is. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, I mean... Are you... The look in the cell? Oh, no, I'm just curious. Help, helping me understand the economics of... Hell. I just, I don't think we should have that thing around us, you know, because uh, I think it's going to attract a lot of attentions. And, you know, to be honest, your your friend there might be attracting too much attention as it is. Wh which one? Uh, I don't know which one has sparkling eyes the color of a sunset. I mean, I've seen Johnny's do that a time or two. Yeah. But I, 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 <laughs> I usually cover it the sunglasses. <laughs> Where, how, how far away are we from Maggie's? Oh, just a little further now, if we can uh, draw not too much attention. You all think you can manage that? Oh, yeah. That's uh, fine. Loza, you're in charge of Lulu. You of course. Make sure, make sure she's quiet, low key. We'll use the I'm buddy already... system. Boom! Oh, that's right. And I pet it. I'm cradling it. <laughs> it really enjoys that. <laughs> All right, let, let's get out of here. I have. You gotta catch me up, Mouser. Yeah, I guess I, I will catch you up on our on our as we as we walk to to everything. Not really adding any, not, not trying to shift your opinion in any way about people, but being very blunt as to the the actions that preceded everything. Gotcha. And with that, I think it is a good time to end our session for the night. Uh, a wonderful first start to our Vernus campaign. Uh, I am just absolutely uh, amazed that none of you guys died and that you beat some were rats. That was fun. Um, but yeah, you guys did it. You lived. Yeah. The, For you one beat the second. odds. Yeah, you're like you're we like, did have a character death on our first session. We outdid the well, thief campaign. Got close. <laughs> I went down twice and then drove into the river. Stick. So we had two big encounters today. Don't you George, do it. George, can we level up? Don't you do it? George, we you guys do level up. 
You yeah. level up. It's fine. It's, yeah. <laughs> you were always level going to level up. up. I. It, you just had to, you know, but you had to Survive ask. So. <laughs> now the next level up is going to take longer. You no. just. Well, we you earn negative no XP. No. Oh, man. At least For everybody watching, uh, this is the first time we've done this format. Uh, we are very open to criticism or advice if you want us to change anything in the layout or how we're running the game or uh, where things are located or anything like that, please let us know. We want to hear your feedback and we want to make each game better. Uh, otherwise, we will be here next week for another session. Uh, we're used to playing once a week, so we will always be doing that. And our uh, Icewind Dale campaign will be on Sunday. So Sunday. yeah, definitely check that out. Sunday, so, Sunday, Sunday. Yep, so if you're already craving more, that's totally fine because we'll be here again in two days. It's really after the Icewind Dale campaign that you have to wait a long time and it's, it's sad, though. so. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll be we'll be back uh, next Friday, same time, same place, same setup, pending same any hell. changes. Same, same hell. hell. Hopefully, no more uh, no more amnesia for any of us, please. We're just gonna I, give him I, a water bottle and just yeah. like use it on cue. If he gets to be too much, you're just like, here, take a drink. It's your special <laughs> sauce. <laughs> uh, he's getting cranky. <laughs> Drink your juice. <laughs> Give him his juice. Uh, What's happened? Where, how'd I get here? I don't know, man. No. Uh, I just remember uh, that I didn't make an end card for this, so. Uh, oh no. Uh, it's it's it, this is this is fine. This is fine. Uh, make one in MS Paint. <laughs> yeah, that's Bye, that's what we'll do. Yes. Bye, yes. guys. Yes. <laughs> bye. Bye. All right, everybody. Bye. See you next, or see you on Sunday. Yes. Bye. Go to the Sunday one. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Friday. But go to the Sunday one.